Okay, let's get into it. I think it's about time we introduce this domain. Hi, Chori. Hi, Cola. Yes, yes, bring on the challenge. I'm so ready. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> you sound ready. <laughs> the location of this challenge seems pretty intriguing. Paimon and the Traveler discovered a secret room within the Mondstadt Library, and they've received an invitation to participate in a mysterious performance. Oh, I love secret rooms and libraries. Pickled said that I, wanted one. I would like so this. That's right. The all-new event, Imaginarium Theater, will become available in version 4.7 for travelers who are Adventure Rank 35 Hi, Tom. Nice. Wait, so this is a library? Mm -hmm. Wow. The coolest library. I know. It looks a lot Hi, different Jim. than what I imagine. It's huge. Yeah, it kind of looks more like a magic castle. Mm. Right? So cool. I would live there. Please. <laughs> so, travelers will encounter a concierge in the area who calls himself Wolfie. Aww. I know. He's so cute. Wolfie. He'll reveal that this room was created by a mage and that he's waiting for a guest to take the stage. He is also a poet. <laughs> that guest will hopefully put on a magnificent performance by becoming the main character of the mage's story. Bring on that main yes, exactly, Josu. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Ooh. After arriving in this room, travelers just need to interact with this strange book in order to participate in the Imaginarium Theater Challenge. Wow, that was fast. I want to see so what, what the challenge, challenge is. is well, let me tell you. Imaginarium Theater contains a series of combat challenges with different battle conditions. Now, only characters who wield specific elemental types will be allowed to participate. So travelers will have to select characters who meet the requirements of the challenge. Mm. Oh, okay. I get it. But okay. what if we don't have enough characters in our roster who meet the requirements? Uh-huh, good thinking. But you won't Thank have to you, worry Pickled. about that. Because first off... Six characters will be designated as the initial Thank you. for each challenge. Trial characters will be provided for travelers that are missing any of those characters. Nice. And travelers can also invite special guest characters to participate in the challenges that aren't restricted by the event requirements. Ooh. In addition, travelers can also designate a certain number of characters as supports for their friends. They can also select their friends supporting characters to join This is own. interesting. That's a nice way to get to try new characters. Right? Friends, friends. Hi, Gaby. How are friends. you? Who would say no friends to more friends? Friends support each other <laughs> in staged combat. Friends helping each other. And during the current challenge period, those six designated characters who make the initial So when does this patch drop, everybody? Fantastical blessings. This will grant them buffs that remain potent even outside of the Imaginarium Theater Challenge. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, so, so for doing this, you give your during the challenge itself. Yes. You give your account of buffs. Kidding. Wait, okay. Thank so you, this CMB. Kind of must be super powerful. Oh, super powerful. And I know that everyone's probably wondering why it looked like we had to select so many characters. Ten days, just eleven now. days. Okay. But characters will consume vigor while participating in Imaginarium Theater combat challenges. So when a okay. character's vigor is fully depleted, they will no longer be able to fight, ah. and you will have to replace them oh. with a new character. It's time for some armor. Oh. <laughs> ah, this is, okay, pause, pause, so pause. So this is actually really cool because as a new player, one of my hangups that I have right now is that they release characters so fast that it honestly feels like they don't even want you to play the old character. I actually really like the fact that each character has its own stamina system because then I can start actually learning these characters. It's forcing me to do different um, parameters and stuff like that that can also buff my main. So like I can do this in my free time and be able to buff my Noel team, but I've also learned about maybe Kuki or I've learned about Yanfei, you know, things like that about how they fight. Select your characters. You have to pay attention Hi, to Kizzy. how well they work together. Yes. And also how well they can fill in for each other. It's a really exactly. good learning opportunity I'll that also and gives I you rewards. Also mention that not all selected characters will immediately appear in your team. Some characters can only be gathered by progressing through the story. They can formally be added to. Oh, your I didn't team even think about that, Josu. How how characters who are often sort of overlooked now from all the power creep in Genshin might actually benefit from this. The end of an Imaginarium theater battle. Hi, damsel. Or when you encounter certain special events. Cool. Mm. So assembling your team is part of the challenge. Yes, which makes it even more fun. But let me explain a little more about the special events that I mentioned. Travelers can choose to spend Fantasia flowers to trigger events during the story. Now, some events will unlock certain characters for battle, and others may trigger certain is its perils. Own... Uh -oh. certain it's its own story? So, travelers will have to choose very carefully. Ooh, no pressure. Right? We will get started on Genshin soon, <laughs> but I wanted to get through all this stuff because I know the Genshin fans want me to catch up. So. And finalizing their performance results. The first time they complete a challenge, travelers will also I want, receive I want a debut performance gift. Ooh, travelers who feel particularly confident can try to attain the star challenge. 
I have to go back because I just saw Primo's. I don't know how they got that. Thank you, Jem. Thank you so much. Thank you. Also, this is permanent and refreshes every month like Abyss. It's like a whole new end game. That's cool. I like I like the puzzle element because like there are a lot of characters that I like, but it's kind of hard to run them all. But this is cool because I don't know. I, I like that. I like that. Challenge condition during each stage. Let's go back a bit because I don't know how they got primos. And finally, travelers can collect performance tour rewards by completing challenges oh. and finalizing. So it's like a performance. Per, uh, it's like a the yeah, first time they complete a challenge. Travelers will also receive a debut performance gift. Ooh, wow, that's a lot. Confident so if this comes out in ten this. days, and this is coming out when that little bunny girl is coming out that I still don't know about. When if that's coming out, that means I'm gonna be able to get her. I'm gonna keep pulling on Baiju um on this banner because I'm trying to honestly force the 50-50. Because as much as I really want Baiju, I'm okay losing Baiju to like another Chi Chi if it guarantees that I can get that bunny girl. I don't care how strong people think they are. I don't, I don't pay attention to that stuff. I want it because it's cute. Star challenge condition during each stage. They'll be able to obtain different levels of performance medals. She comes out the second half? The well, that just means I have more time challenge. to do this, then. These medals can be displayed on their profile. Go ahead and show off. And that's not all. I right? haven't seen her demo. <laughs> Travelers can also obtain toy medals during this event, which they can exchange with Wolfie the Concierge. Aww. In return, Travelers will receive special poses for their characters when taking photos. Oh, yeah. <gasps> right. Travelers will be able oh to that's cool why pitch. you guys said that I would like it, because you get you get rewards that are actually like aesthetic like this is actually like a girly pop abyss where you you have to still do the challenges but you get rewards that are more you know like fun like you can take pictures and Those stuff and the poses are profile. locked behind yeah, actual so achievements so i like that all, right <laughs> travelers can also obtain toy medals during this event which they can exchange with wolfie the concierge Aww. in return travelers will receive special poses for their characters when taking photos i want to see noelle's pose right. travelers will be able to take all sorts of new cool No, I pictures. wanted to see Noel's pose. I am excited oh to see my goodness. So hyped. Mm, me too. Right. And also more poses will be added whenever Imaginarium Theater is updated. Yes. <gasps> Every and month we'll get new poses. And the Imaginarium Theater has several difficulty levels. Do you think and they intend to make this if it's going to be like a new abyss and they update it every month? Do you think they're going to add more cosmetics to it? It would be really cool if they added cosmetics that you could add like you could unlock for doing this kind of content. For number of challenges. Higher difficulty levels will you like new wings, new costumes, new As poses, new, new voice lines. Say, when the brilliant golden glow of the treasure <laughs> beckons, don't you hesitate. Just go open it. How can you be so That's cute? Amazing. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 somehow I yeah, Nova, I will be redeeming those codes. Course, Somebody posted in the Discord. I think Josie did. To raise the necessary characters and understand how they fit into this new challenge. And I'm sure travelers are always looking for ways to get more primo. Chat. Yeah, I like that. Okay, there's one more thing I wanted to look at. Look at that Josu posted in the Hoyo chat. Um, let me get it open. One sec. There we go. This is a preview of what Natlin's gonna look like, right? I just want to look at the back. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Ooh. Wait, do you get to ride on those? Wait, is this the traversal? Oh, that's definitely player controlled. That's pretty cool. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit... I can see the African vibes to it, for sure. <gasps> oh, that's, do that's adorable. That's me coded. That is me coded. I like that. The music is good too, Arabica. I didn't even notice that, but that's ooh, this is going to be a cool zone. Oh, this this zone, I know that this is weird, but this zone is giving almost like Crash Bandicoot. Like I feel like we're going to be playing a platformer when we're exploring this area. It's going to feel like a platformer being able to switch between the different creatures to navigate the different zones and the sort of like jump puzzle navigation challenges that they're going to give us. I feel like we're going to get like platformer vibes. Jurassic Park vibes. It's giving Jurassic Park. Okay, Mothering Waves who? <laughs> right. Mothering Waves canceled. <laughs> 
Woo, 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 what? Woo, what? Woo, what? Thank you for the level three hype chain, everyone. Okay, let's get started on the game, right? Let's start playing. Can you guys hear? I can't. Maybe I have Genshin Impact muted. I might have because the last time I played, I think, was on stream. No, no, the last time I played was um, I was grinding in the morning. So I might have muted it. Let's see. This might mess up the audio, so just give me a second. If you don't notice, there was a spray paint, so we get a punk aesthetic character for Natlin. Really? Thank you guys for the hype train. That is a really cute one. I like that one a lot. Okay, so I can hear it. Um, I'll try to accept people. It's not showing up on my um, OBS, though. So give me just a second. Um... I'm going to accept Josie because Josie was the first one to ask. Brian. Oh, gosh. I'll try to get you in too, Brian. One second, though. No, that's not it. Streaming avatars. Okay. Now it's working. Cool. Nice. Okay. Um... Brian, I'm sorry. David Archuleta has taken you hostage. Oop. Someone asked me for my user ID. I wouldn't worry about it right now. Um, I, I, I don't mind people having it out, but it's like literally hidden over there, and I do not want to change my overlay to show it. Um, my, my, my friends, this is full, babe. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Okay, let's um, let's find something to grind. Let's find something to grind. Uh, we can do week. Let's do those weeklies. Yeah, let's do those weeklies. Um, always got to do these weeklies. I have been getting a little bit better at um, doing my dailies. I'll be honest, guys. My schedule's really, really tight. Since I've added YouTube onto like my content creation, it's honestly kind of hard for me to like find time to play. So I've been getting up earlier in the morning to sort of get my grinding done in Final Fantasy fourteen and Genshin. Um, but it's kind of hard to do. It's kind of hard to do because my body isn't used to it yet, but I am getting a little bit better at it, so. That's good news, at least. Leave it to me. All of it. Whatever it is. What exactly is it? I didn't quite catch your request. <clears throat> Queen Coco me. I do want to play more Wuwa. I'm going to play more Final Fantasy XIV tonight, though, because I didn't get to play it this morning. There are leaves around. Okay. Verifying our <laughs> You're trembling. Is it the cold or just cowardice? Why is my health so low? Is Wuba good? Didn't try it. I liked it. Some people don't like it, but I don't know. I liked it. Ofan, do you have any early faves in Wuwa so far? Encore and Ling Yang. Those are my faves. As a dutiful maid would. Let's move out. <laughs> do you heard it you heard Senor and you thought it was your Wuwa game? <laughs> Sorry, that's just me. We're fighting Senora. Um, somebody asked me to react to something. If you tried to post a link, we don't accept links in the chat anymore because some people do bad things with links in Twitch. Um, 
The best way to get me to react to something is to just suggest it in my suggestions channel. I'll catch you. Your sins weigh upon your soul. The Ganshin animated short that they released today, The Road Not Taken. I was going to watch that, but I'm still going to hold off on that because I haven't seen the end of Fontaine. Um, but I was going to watch that today, but I decided not to last minute. I do know of it, though. I'll be real, though. The way that I watch those, it's not going to be the same way that you see on, like, the, the clips and stuff. I guess if you're at the stream, you don't really mind if I'm not going to be like, yes, yes, yes. Because those 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 are not yassy kind of, like, stories, you know. It's more, like, um, toned down. But I'm still going to avoid that one until... We'll probably start watching those on stream when I finally beat Fontaine. Um, I just... I don't want any references to the ending of Fontaine. I don't. I really don't know what's in it, though. I did consider it, though. So there's that at least. Your Fortnite code is Neo Fifty, right? I'm planning on. Yes, Brian, it is. My Fortnite code is Neo Fifty. Jem actually brought up something good. She was like, girl, why don't you put that information on your Fortnite page? Not your Fortnite, your, your stream page. So even when you're not playing Fortnite, people know. I was like, oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> okay. So we just did that. Now let's go do... <clears throat> Let's go do tart. I'm excited as well, Kit. I'm excited to just be a fan of this. Like after playing Wuwa, like you guys have to understand, I didn't start getting into this genre of game until like November. But like now that I'm in it, I realize that you guys hear me talk all the time about how much I love MapleStory in that era of oh, gaming. Dear. I made that whole Trickster Everyone's Online video on my YouTube on about how much I love that era of gaming. Um, this is the new this is the new version of it. Like, and the reason why I group them together is because they're they're like they've got gotcha in them. So like, there's that aspect to it, but they're also like these free to play online games that are just so easy to pick up and access, which was also a, it's so hard to talk with these characters talking all the time. Um, they should have a streamer mode where you just turn off character like commentary sometimes, or just have the shorter ones. But they're so easy to access, so easy to pick up. But like after playing Wuwa, looking at the things that I've seen of Honkai, playing Genshin, I'm not saying that all of them are probably going to be really, really high quality. But there is definitely quality within the genre, and I I just like that. I like that. Even if I just play it for, like, a week or two, like, literally, it's just... The, I guess what it is, is it's the free. It's the access that I have to it and how quality it is. I'm so used to playing free games that are, like, obviously free. Um, Genshin, Wuwa, Honkai, all of them don't have to be free. That's just, like, how they do it. But their quality is really up there. Yes, exactly, Shori. There's like actual game. <laughs> Thank you, Seiko. The quality is a new thing. I, I think it is because um, what was I watching? Mm. Oh. There's this one, I don't know how I got onto it, and I don't know any other Genshin creators. I, I kind of, I guess I exist alone as a Genshin creator in the, in the fact that I really don't know much about the community. Um, but I found this one video of this one person documenting the multiple instances of drama that this one Genshin person had. But in order to contextualize the drama, they were actually going through this whole story of how this creator got started. And... I will say that before they were playing Genshin, they were playing other gacha games, and Genshin really was the first one to show, like, just because it's free doesn't mean that it has to be low quality. And ever since that, now all these games are actually quite interesting. Like, I'm excited for ZZZ, I'm excited for that other one that I always forget the name of. Project Mugen, is that what it's called? Something like that. You know, like, Woo was, was fun, like, this is cool for me, like, we didn't even have to buy any of this stuff. <laughs> okay, so there was another one... 
around here. Unless people are already... Yeah, I think people are just going to them. Thank you, guys. It irks me whenever people trash on Genshin and Honkai for being card swipe simulators, even though you can play all the content without touching your wallet. I will say, even though people mm, have donated to my account, order. I've never personally... I will take oh, that what sort of with, like, a that grain of salt. Else? Like, people have donated to <laughs> well, this account. Anything that makes you feel but I personally... Sunny too. Oops. I personally am, like, totally satiated. Like, I don't... I, during the week, every day, I probably have maybe two hours at most to play Genshin. And that's, like, really, really pushing it. You you can get ten hours of gameplay no in Genshin a week kind of and have your account you progress. In, I think that's good game design. It is student friendly, isn't it, Miggy? I guess that's I kind of have a similar thing. schedule to students. This is an auspicious era for humanity. Maybe that's why I have so many students in my audience. <laughs> You saw the exact video? I didn't finish it, Tab. Because um, I feel like I got the gist of it. But um, I just, I was like, okay. I put it on the background. I was like listening to it. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Um, and then I started thinking about me as a creator. And I was like, I don't want to be that kind of creator. I don't want to get into drama. I don't, I honestly don't. I'm going to keep it going this way. Going forward with Genshin. Like, obviously... I want to grow with Genshin and Hoyo games and Gacha games and stuff like that. Like, I'll still keep playing them because I find them interesting. I don't like... I don't like some of the drama that I see around most games. It's just so, like, the creator versus creator drama. I'm like, both of you guys have, like, a 100k followers. Like, why are you guys fighting? Over what? <laughs> I think the average wishes you can get per patch for freeze around 70, so that's really good. Yeah. I feel like my pressure, the pressure that I might feel to start, like, actually, like, really dropping money on the game is when I'm at a point where my characters are all done. But I have so many characters to get through that I'm not even really worried about pulling. I just pull for fun, but I got characters to take care of, girl. I don't even know where we are in the story. I know that we're in jail. You're going to cry if you see me win another 50-50. I've been really lucky these these past few weeks. Wuwa really showed it. I went crazy on Wuwa. Even though I do think that it's possible that they adjusted the rates. I always... I'm, I'm very much like a conspiracy theorist when it comes to like gotcha games and rates. I feel like they definitely... And it's not just Wuwa. I feel like everyone does it. I feel like they adjust the rates when like a new game is coming out or like a big patch is coming out. So that way it's like a little bit more like engaging, like it makes you want to play a little bit more. Yeah, the Wuwa luck was insane. There's a, there's a place called Camp Overwatch in Wuwa. That's funny. Oh, they didn't adjust it for you, textbook. Oops. Um, I will be putting a video together, though, of Wuwa, and I'm going to be putting some clips together, too. Um, I still have to work on my Battle Day clips, but I'm going to work on all that stuff on Sunday, Monday. That, that, those, that's going to be my editing day. I normally like to record videos and stuff, but I have a lot of stuff to edit, so I shouldn't worry about recording. Sometimes I over-record and I don't edit my stuff. <laughs> Oh, it was a Ludicolo effect? I think the quality came from the fact that phones can take the quality because even in 2019, our devices were not ready for these games, and the fact that these games are so accessible really contributes to how much the companies are willing to invest in the genre. Yes, definitely, like, the overhead take, m makes a big um, impact. Um, I agree with that, yeah. I think in general, what it is is, like... Maple Story was a PC game because kids had computers that could run Maple Story and it was like easy to like download. Um, nowadays, gaming is not considered a kid's thing. It's just like anybody who's anybody who likes games plays games, you know? But still, the ease of access is what makes it's, it's a big contributing factor to why these games are so popular because like you can, you can download Genshin on anything, anything. 
that's why it's like it got so much but then you meet it with the quality you meet it with like the fun narrative you meet it with all the characters and now you've got someone hooked but the the entryway to get into genshin is very very low 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 barrier to entry there okay um so i have 70 left didn't we do something else is there anything else i can do for the claymores I don't think there is. I think I just like converted the rest. My friend made six accounts trying to start out with Encore. <laughs> Whoa. I need to post a clip of me getting Encore then. I think that's it. <clears throat> right, Teb. But like whatever it is, I'll take it. I don't know how long I'll play Wuwa. I'm still gonna I pr maybe like Sunday money when the, those days where I'm like really taking some time off and just relaxing. Maybe I'll dig into that. But I've been also digging into Final Fantasy 14, and I've already said like I have to get into 14 because I'm building a 14 audience on YouTube for one, and two, I love that game so much. Okay. So let me um, convert what I have. I think that's it for today. I think. Do we normally do anything else? We normally we normally explore, but I've been doing my exploration via quests because we're really pushing quests. Oh, there's, I need to do my, um, everyone meet me up at the statue. I want to take a picture at the statue because it's been a while since we've been to the statue. I've done Nani pulls and got one five star from Pity. Oh, I'm sorry. Fawn, you can quick challenge right in. Oh, do I have enough? If I have enough, we will. Where is she? I don't think I have enough now. Because, yeah, I don't have enough anymore. It's okay. Maybe another time. You have exactly enough? Okay, where's she at then? Because I think I use my weekly limit. She's like... She's like, um... Here? No. You don't have enough, but it's okay. It was in the book, but next week. Oh. I can pop one real quick. Let's do it. I'll pop one. We'll do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Why not? Let's do it. I got, I got a bunch of moons. I got so many games to play now. I got to start spending these things. Let's crack a moon open. Crunch. Okay, boom. I've been using the Flamigo video as background music while I was doing art. It kept me so entertained. Oh, the uh, Poke Rogue one? Nice. Munch, munch, crunch, crunch. Speaking of munch, munch, crunch, crunch, I found today, um, we went grocery shopping today. I found today, okay, so we we went at a really busy time, right? So I'm, y'all know me, I'm impatient, I'm a fast mover, I'm also gay, so I have a fast pace when I walk. Um, I, I was like trying to go around someone and like the aisle was just getting taken up. So I was like, okay, I'll take the aisle around to get to where I wanna go. I went the aisle around and I entered the chip aisle. The chip aisle has this whole line of like Cheez-Its and um, goldfish. They're kind of like a weakness for me lately. I don't know what's what's happening, but I'm entering my goldfish era this year. And every now and then, I've, I've had two bags of goldfish this year. And I normally have zero per year. So something's going on there, but they were on sale, $2 per bag for any flavor. So I said, okay, well I have to definitely get a flavor. I saw that they had vanilla cupcake, and I said, now that's crazy, because what I'm used to with this cracker and chip form is a savory, cheesy, salty. You're telling me that you have sweet as well? Because I do like Teddy Grahams, and these look like goldfish-shaped Teddy Grahams to me. So I picked up the vanilla cupcake, and I tried that today, and it tasted amazing. I had to stop myself from eating them all in one sitting because I told myself if I'm spending all this money because the economy is really tight, if I'm spending $2 on this bag of vanilla cupcake flavored uh, goldfish. This is only my Final Fantasy 14 snack. 
and Genshin snacks. So when I'm s sitting up in the morning or sitting at night and I'm grinding on Genshin or Final Fantasy XIV, I'm only allowed to have those snacks. I also thought, you know, this works in a double way. Not only am I sort of spreading out the use of this, because I can go through a bag of chips really, really quickly. I'm like sort of creating a sort of environment where I won't go through them too, too quickly, because I'll also be gaming, so I'll be eating it slower. I was also like, this will also encourage me on a chemical way to start getting back into my grinding bag in Final Fantasy XIV because now I'm associating with sugar. Now, a couple months from now, when I start associating things with sugar, I'm really interested to see how psychologically that's going to play out. But for now, I think that this is a good plan. On top of that, I also managed to obtain s'mores flavored goldfish. And I know that in America, we're used to a lot of companies just sort of saying, oh, this is this shape, but you open up the bag and it's not that shape. Like, you get, like, fruit snacks and they don't look anything like Sonic the Hedgehog. Let me tell you, they had chocolate, vanilla, and marshmallows all in the shape of a perfect fish. You can make a tiny little s'more goldfish sandwich if you wanted to with that sweet little treat. And that's what I wanted to share. You would have bought six, six of the flavor blasted. See, I was trying, I was trying to like limit myself, but now that I'm thinking of it, I'm like, I should have gotten one more, just one more flavor. Ooh, the the sweet checks mixes. I like the ones that come in the bag that's like white and brown, like the dark brown. I don't know what flavor that is, but I really like that one. Okay, cool. Okay, let's take a picture in front of the statue, and then we'll be done. I want to take a picture in front of Venti's statue. The wind statue. The Animo statue. The Mondstadt statue. The Statue of Freedom. Hi, Christian. Hi, Christian's friend. I need to buy sna snacks again, but I am feeling... I'm feeling snacky. Well... Enjoy your snacks whenever you find them. I didn't know Chex Mix had different flavors until recently. I thought it was just the, the, a variant of mixes. I There's one like honey flavored one that I like. They always put these little honey like bites in them. And it they, they taste like a shortbread that's been just like doused in like a honey powder. Oh my God, I love those so much. I could eat those forever and ever and ever. I love shortbreads too. Okay, damsel. No, because we live we live roughly in the same geographic region, I think, um, in America. So you probably get this brand too. There's a shortbread that you can like pick up in the gas station or like in like the cheap cookie section of a, a grocery store. And the box is the major, I'm trying to get up there guys, I'm sorry. The major color is like a deep red, but it has accents of black. I don't know what the brand name is. I just go by color on it. And they come, they're really, really expensive, and they have the thickest, butteriest shortbreads. Oh my god, I just like to get the bars. I know they come in different shapes, but I just like to get the bars. I don't know what they're called. I love a shortbread. Oh my... Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, be careful, but on the count of three, I'm going to swing my sword. Y'all can do something, okay? One, two, three. Think you can get away? Let's keep going, G. You pushed me off. You pushed me off. You have to go. Thank you guys so much. But after that, after being literally accosted up at the top of the Statue of Freedom, I will I will initiate my freedom and be free from this violence. What's that code? Josie posted a Thank you guys for helping me, by the way, with my weeklies. Thank you. <laughs> um, Josie gave me three codes. Let me uh, find them in the Genshin Hoyo chat. Let's put those codes in and we'll start pulling. Redeem code. One. 
two, three. <laughs> Miss Toller, thank you, Josu. Okay, um, let's see what we can get with this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we'll start on the story. Two. I need to get some of these. Okay. Baiju, Baiju, Baiju. There was a teaser for the next region, Natlan, and I've seen people compare it to Pokemon. Interesting. I didn't get Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know how much Pokemon those people played. <laughs> Come on, Baiju. I know that's purple, but... Oh. Whoa, wait a minute. I think that's C1 Layla. That's C1 Layla for me. Wait, that's C1 Layla for me. Wait a minute. That was really good. Yeah! The shield absorption is increased by 20%. Additionally, when unleashing Knights of Formal Focus, she will generate a shield for any nearby party members who are not being protected by a curtain of slum slumber. The shield will have a 35% chance of the absorption of a curtain of slumber. will last for 12 seconds and will absorb cryo damage. Wow. Nice. Nice! C1 Layla! I love this. Okay, cool. Cool. She's she's on the docket. I gotta catch up to the story so I can start building these characters out. Okay, let's let's just check for any more little scraps and then we'll get started. I I don't think I've I haven't done the um I haven't finished this yet. But we won't worry about that now. Can submit. Can submit. I don't know what any of this means. Can submit. Can submit. Can submit. Anyway. Let's start on the story. We gotta finish this story because obviously your girl can't do more than one thing at a time. Um, two. Woke up looking like this. So don't get under my skin. Woke up looking like this. When are they going to release a dance to that? Because you know that I want to learn to dance to that. Can you imagine how toned I'm going to get learning the choreography to that song? Because that's the kind of song where you just like, when you hear it, you can't help but get a little bit like hyped up. Like there's something in the sonic waves of that song that gets you like. OMG, nice. C1 Layla. OMG, Yai Miko proceeds to throw them back into the box. Well, yes, they're great and all, but are they Noel? Do they have any synergy with Noel? If the answer is no or no or no or maybe, back in the box. Because you know you know what works for a girl like me? This girl right here. You know who else works for a girl like me? This girl, because she works for this girl. You know who else works for a girl like me? This girl, because she works for this girl. You know finally who else works for a girl like me? This girl, because she works for this girl. I'm a one-woman man. Noelle Hypercarry is the new meta. I don't care what y'all say. A couple more paragraphs isn't gonna hurt, right? Yes. Let's start the story. Sorry, Reesley wants to take me to the infirmary or whatever because he says I'm sick. He said, girl, you're so sick. So sickening. Sickening, no. Come on, if you want to dance and feel empowered, you should listen to Serving Seaward by Mara and my hot ex. Um, you can, you can, you can, um, DM it to me, maybe, I don't know. I'll probably forget, Jara, but I, I trust your guys' taste in music, I just tend to forget. <gasps> Who shoots? Oh, it's this girl that I saw in the trailer. Who is this, by the way? Is Your this face? that girl? What are you doing in the infirmary at a time like this? Oh, oh no, you didn't injure yourself, did you? This outfit? This outfit. Boom, 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 boom. Like, 
this is a look, 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 look. I feel like if we change the primary color to a light pastel pink, I would have worn this outfit already. All the blues, change it to a pink and that would have been a that would have been fawn coated. This is giving more Naunix. If we're thinking about creators that I can think of, this is giving more Naunix, but I do want to cop this in a pink, right? Like I want this look in pink. Do you, do you guys, if I saw this on the runway, I would say, can I get the, can I get this in a pink? Because first and foremost, I'm going to assume that this is her vision, a heart that has, it looks like almost like it has a dial to show like time or balance or something. But what I really, really love is that they're using symbols to to almost like it's like the symbols act as like anchors to glue the outfit together right because she has like a pretty crazy look but you have a heart here you got a heart here a heart here a heart here a heart here and it creates like almost like this like oval so it's like it, it, it all matches the ribbons all really cute i also love the little bunny motifs this the two bunnies here with this bunny here the symbolism is balanced so they have like one two three symbols all on this outfit Sickening. Sickening. Sick. She does give Sailor Moon. Are they Japanese or Korean? Miggy, XG is a Japanese group that promotes a lot in the Korean music industry. They're, the thing about XG and why it's so hard to explain XG is because they give K-pop, but they're Japanese. But that's the whole concept is like they're, they're an international girl group. Like that's what they've been since day one. Um, so they're always trying to like, they're always trying to like give a show to multiple audiences. Okay, sorry. Now, I know Fawn is going to love her because characters with a cute pastel moment, Fawn's going to love them. Yes, exactly. I'm such a sucker for blue and pink. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Not okay. Not yet, unfortunately for you. But thank you for your concern, Siege Wing. Oh. <laughs> then you must be here for those two. I got it on Amazon. I got this hat on Amazon. Look up flo faux plush hat bear. You'll find it eventually. There's a lot of them now on Amazon. I'm not saying that... I caused it, but allow me to introduce you. This okay, is let's get infirmary. let's get to the story. And Sijuin here is the fortress of Meripede's head nurse. <laughs> Hello, Sijuin. <Sinjweed>? See, <laughs> you call me the head nurse, but I actually handle all the nurse-related work all by myself down here. Sijuin, since you seem to have some rare downtime with no patients, perhaps you could find the time to join us for dinner. Oh, then these two must be some important convicts. Sure, I'll join the welcome party. You know that she's a meal girl because she's got the Coco Me bow. Ever since that we created, the, ever since we created the Coco Me bow at Meal Brands, um, we've been trying to like put them into every outfit because every girl was like, "Look, I know that's Coco Me's look, but like, I really love the Coco Me bow." You know who really did the Coco Me bow, right? Lynette. Lynette was the one who sort of democratized it. We were all kind of scared to ask, but um, Lynette was like, "Why can't we all have a bow?" So that's why. Thank you. Your presence will be the pièce de résistance oh for today's tour. Y'all, she is so cute. I didn't know she had a bunny tail. She has like little fairy wings. I'm gonna cry. This is literally like, if I could wake up in an alternate dimension, this is what I want to look like. Like, I want to be a siege ween. Oh, so the tour part is over now? I believe I've already covered the primary aspects of life here in the fortress. As for your work, there'll be someone else to guide you through the details. Hmm. She buffs Serena. Is there anything else? I seldom conduct tours, so why don't you just ask if you have any questions? Uh, well, this is your first time here. Paimon's not sure what to ask. Her wings flap. I love when I love how Genshin does that. Genshin does these things where it looks like the hair and the outfit look like an actual, like sort of like neko potty piece or like ears or like a tail or something, but it looks like cloth. But, like, then you have, like, animations and stuff that make it look... It, like, blurs the line between, like, is it part of, like, the intention of the fashion? Or are they actually, like, a fairy, you know? Then let's head back to the coupon cafeteria. Maybe a meal will help you think up some questions. You should at least try to be excited. Our free meals are actually pretty good here. I am so, so, so tempted to get as much information as I can from her because I'm at the end of the game now. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the reaction for when the demo trailer comes out. I have to because I know that hers is gonna eat. I do want to say though, just looking at the characters that I have, right? I want to make a team with her. I don't care about the meta. I don't care about what y'all are gonna say. I, I'm just gonna tell y'all the team that I want with her. I want her. 
and Barbara. Her and Barbara because that's giving J-pop idol. I want Nahida. No, 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 no. If we're we're gonna make a Siege Queen team. We're not making a Nahida team. Her and Barbara with Faruzan, Pastel Blue Girlies, with um Ooh, I need like a pop of something, a pop of pink. I want to say Yai, but I'm not feeling Yai for this. Um, Charlotte. Charlotte, Siegeween, Faruzan, and um, Barbara. That is such a cute team. Let's put it together. Let's just... Wait, I can't because I don't have her. We can imagine her. Whenever you need... This is just like my idea of the aesthetic behind a CG team. So just imagine CG's on this. Barbara. We can do this. Faruzan. You need the help of an elder, huh? And who else did I have? Charlotte. Where's she at? There she is. Let's get this interview. Come started. on with Seedween, right? How about Layla? We might be able to take Actually, let's take Barbara out and put Layla in. No, we let's take Farzan out and put Layla in. I applied for vacation. Y you remember too, right? Wasn't there Sucrose? No, I took Sucrose out. That's just what I want to work with for now, but that's it. Let's continue the story. I'll be there. <laughs> Mika would be cute on it too, Josu. Mika would be cute on that one. I was just thinking about that. Oh yeah, my siege mean if it's gonna be a main, it's a DPS. I don't care. Unless like, is, is it possible to like have like a main that's like a super, super, super healer and you can just have like a, like you can have three DPSs that just drain their own health, you know? And it's like almost like a Dark Knight build and then your main will be just like a super healer that comes out and refreshes everyone. And then you go two, three, four, burn, 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 DPS, 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 and then refresh. That's just Garena. Oh, I guess I'm doing that then. Let's go down here. Huh? Oh. I'll catch up. What do you think of the food? Does it meet your expectations? Wow. It looks delicious. No one made it sound like living conditions in the Fortress of Meripede wasn't very good. Who would have guessed that criminals get to eat tasty food like this every day? Paimon, you eat slime, girl. This is very different for me. I, I have to remind you that since I showed up in this town, I've been asking for a meal Airbnb, but you've been refusing. You said that you wanted to sleep in the bait. You wanted to sleep in the dungeons. You wanted to sleep in the sewers. You wanted to eat your slime. You want to read your BL. I don't agree with this. Stop putting words in my mouth. This is dry, old, stale bread. The carrots feel very, very questionable. I don't even know if they're made of real vegetables. This is bad for my skin, bad for my hair. But it's free, I guess. Oh, isn't that the meal box that only super lucky people manage to draw? Seems like you two are quite fortunate. So you're telling me that I only get this when I'm lucky? It Hi, Magic. It has nothing to do with luck in this case. I had a word with Walsey, so you didn't have to draw lots like everyone else. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Reesley. Oh my goodness, Reesley. See, that's what I was saying, Paimon. Like, I have to keep my skin like nice and stuff for Reesley. Uh, he always tries to take care of me. Thank you, Reesley. Thank you. Oh, you mean the meals are random? Yes, what you get to eat depends completely on your luck. You could say that it's a distasteful little game that Chef Walsey likes to play here in the cafeteria. Not for me, Sea Queen. <laughs> Reesley got this one for me. I didn't have to draw. Mm -mm. I don't know what that is. Paima knew it! If criminals got to eat tasty food Thank you, Panda! Pandy, thank Panda you for subscribing. For sure. Pansy Coco Baker, thank you. Excuse me, did I hear you mention Nervulet just now? Oh, I've been wondering how he's doing. Is he busy with work? Has he been taking care of his health? He seems healthy no matter how you look at him. But he works so hard all the time, so it must be really tiring. 
It sounds like he hasn't changed a bit. Looks like you can stop worrying so much, Sejuin. Oh, Nouvellet loves the, the Melusine. That's cute. Oh, that's good. But I still feel like it's been too long since I've heard any news about him. Oh. No news is good news. It's okay. I, I mean, Sejuin, I know that you're a new meal girl, Sejuin. But you don't have to worry about it. He's really, really booked right now. But it's just because he's really the only meal man that we have that can really sell um, the sort of dyes that we've been working on for the hair dyes. Um, we're also selling like trench coats and stuff like that. It's just he's he's made for it. But don't worry, Seagreen. We're not going to overwork him. Don't worry about him. Maybe next time I've got something to discuss with him, I can invite you to accompany us. Hmm? But isn't the Fortress of Meropede independent from Fontaine's court system? What do you two have to discuss? Well, we provide all kinds of mechanical products for official use, and some essential goods have to be obtained from the overworld, so we naturally have to stay in touch about this and that. So a private industrial complex runs not Anne Fontaine, because technically they're separate entities, but it does produce, via free criminal labor, mechanical things. And your cafeteria is a lottery system? Riesley. Monsieur Nouvellet's character is unimpeachable. No matter the question, you can discuss it openly and freely with him. Talking with him feels quite effortless. In light of that, I am quite willing to go out of my way Hi, to Internet show Explorer. respect and accommodate him. Explorer. I don't know how to spell Explorer. <laughs> oh, it's Finn. Hi, Finn. Thank you for rating me, Finn. Hi. Hi, everyone. In fact, right now, I'm treating you two as guests invited by Monsieur Nouvellet. But unfortunately, I can only do so until the end of this meal. After this, you two will just be inmates here. Reesley, you're not going to do that to me. You're not going to do that to me. You're not going to make me go back to that ugly little cell, right? You're very welcome. Well, your new life... Awaits. No, wait, Reesley, I thought... No, 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 no. No, no, Reesley, I came here because I need to talk to you. Are you finished eating? Then I recommend that you return to the dormitories and rest. You have work to do tomorrow. Perhaps Excuse me. hoping to ask for some special privileges. Sorry, you'll have to use credit coupons like everyone else. It's not as comfy here as you might imagine. The chill that's going down my spine. Excuse me, Seagween. You're a meal girl. You know that I'm here on assignment, right? Like, I'm here to open up Funtime Complex. Welfare, meal. Oh my god, it's all setting in. Oh my god, it's all setting in. It's, it's setting in. <sighs> I have a panic attack right now. <laughs> I have to vlog. Everybody, um... Leave it to me. All of it. Whatever it is. What exactly is it? I didn't quite catch your request. Everybody, I have very sad news. I'm here still on assignment for Funtime Complex as administration, as the first Mule Girl and ambassador of Tavat of Mule Girls. <sighs> One thing has led to another and I'm here undercover trying to get something secured, but now I'm technically as an inmate here in this private industrial complex and I don't know how to get out. This man behind me whined and dined me and he tricked me. He said that he w I was really cute and I thought that he was a meal man, but I think he's MLO and this blue haired girl, she's a meal girl, I know that, but she you seems to be seem working tight. with him and I'm- Would you like some tea? I'll brew you some. Do you take sugar? One cube or two? I... I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna try to up, update you guys on my stories later, but I don't know if there's any outlets in my dorm. Um, please wish me luck. Bye. <laughs> um, where do I go? Who is that?
The robot will give me a free dish. I don't eat. That's gonna be bad for my skin and my hair. That was the person who's cheating on you. That is so sick. They're... That was an actual random. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cut out for this type of work. Excuse me, sir. I think that there's a misunderstanding. I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to have. Um. The traveler in Paimon, right? Listen up. As new inmates, the only thing you need to worry about is what to do and when to do it. Don't make any extra trouble for yourself. Your bunks are right over there. Follow me. This is so scary. Could you guys imagine? Oh my god. Oh, so this is where we'll be sleeping from now on. Oh, Paimon can't believe this. Oh, the days of staying home and reading detective stories are like a dream now. I'm gonna be honest, you guys. This looks a little bit cozier than an American prison. That's all I gotta say. They have a full queen size bed in here with dim, with dim mood lighting. And I get to just pair up with my friend and we have separate beds. Um, okay. Uh, by the way, traveler, There's a leak, I know, whatever, but it's prison. It's free. Even though the Duke didn't say it too directly, judging from what he said at the end, it seems that he was only welcoming because we know Nouvellet. We are criminals, and Paimon did eat that cake. Free water. We're actually here to help Nouvellet. Hmm. Is it possible that he knows we're here on a mission? Or is Paimon overthinking things? Paimon, he totally played us. I thought that he was like super into me and he was gonna like give us like special treatment, but it seems like he's like playing some sort of power play on me. If Reese is an MLO boy, then I'm gonna show him what a meal girl can do. Two can play at this game. Yeah, Paimon thinks so too. He probably knew why we came here from the very beginning and intentionally wanted to send us Slow a Slow drip. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe something like, hey, I have my eyes on you, so don't try anything funny. But there's nothing we can do about that. Yeah, you're right. It's not like we can go back to Nouvellet empty-handed and say, the dude looks scary, so we gave up. Uh, and besides, the Duke said that he was willing to go out of his way to show respect for Nouvellet, right? So, we at least need to try. But... Paimon hasn't gotten a clue where we should start our investigation. Well, Paimon, you know, it is kind of hard to start, but I did I did think that I picked up a little information before we entered the prison. You remember when he was opening up that giant staircase to send us down to this dungeon and trap us here? He did say that him and Reesley correspond often, and if there's one thing I've learned about Tavat since I've been here, it's that every man that I've seen is attracted to men as well. Um... I think that there's something going on between the two of them. So I think one way to get under Reesley's skin and Nouvelle's skin is to get into that relationship. Let's become the third wheel, right? You mean? Well, I do mean there's gayness about. Yeah, that's what Paimon was thinking too. Paimon almost spilled the beans when we ran into him. <laughs> This is why I love Paimon. <laughs> Fortunately, based on his attitude, it looks like the Duke sees Linny as just another inmate. <laughs> Paimon said, do you think, do you think that Reesley knows? <laughs> we worked so hard to help clear Linny and Lynette's names, and yet we turn around and bam, he's in prison anyway. If I had to guess, oh, right. who are these people? Linny and Lynette are from the House of the Hearth. They work for the Knaves, so they could be here to investigate too. Huh? Oh, it's a card! Paimon didn't notice it earlier! I'll join in on the operation because Nouvellet is cheating on me with this dried up e-boy wolf man and we gotta get down to the bottom. <laughs> mm, it looks like a magician's prop. Lenny must have left it here. He's in prison and still doing his little tricks, huh? Let Paimon have a look. We have to normalize this kind of stuff. 
Do you see how Lenny left his branded magician's card in my cell? That's all he had to do. I need to start making cards that have a symbol that represent Fawn and just start leaving them places. Like, I need to, like, brand myself beyond just, like, the body. Like, I need to start making, like, cards and, like, I don't know. I start hiring planes to start just saying, like, Fawn on them. That's, that's branding, and that's why Lenny's an icon. It was nice to bump into you again. Let's catch up in the production zone tomorrow. What in the world? It's written like he's greeting a buddy on the street. Kind of that he'd write something important. If you say so, we can ask him what's going on tomorrow. A shiny jump now. <laughs> I need to start commissioning a factory to make unauthorized shiny jump bluffs of various sizes. And instead of actually selling them, I'm just going to hey, leave them in wait. random places across America. Well, it's Paimon's first day as a prisoner. Last night, Paimon dreamed about getting interrogated by the guards until Paimon told them everything, and then Paimon woke up. Did you tell them everything? Hey, come on! It's just a dream, okay? Paimon wouldn't really steal. Maybe? Nouvellet. Showered. Clean. Smells like fresh linen. Riesly. Stank. No shower. Deodorant non-existent. Where are Nouvellet standards? Hey, you might be into that. What are you still doing here? If you don't want to starve, then get yourselves over to the production zone. Fielding, just because I'm this petite doesn't mean I'm starving. I actually have a very, very, very healthy diet plan that my nutritionist, hired by Meal Brands, has given me. Don't talk to me like that, Fieldling. Uh, sorry! We're going right away! <laughs> he called me Lazy Bones. I, I I wonder if he knows this these lazy bones are about to open up fun time complex right above his bum little job. This dirty little dingy little job. Y'all obviously don't have janitors or cleaners because y'all y'all don't know how to dust. I'm gonna I'm gonna be the prisoner that never gets let out because I have too much of an attitude. <laughs> I swear I was trying to do an attack so I could get down there faster. <laughs> yep. That goes to the dormitories. Go to the production zone and talk to Greenville. Activate. What is this, honey? I'm not looking for that. There must be a way down. Oh, this goes down, okay. All right, let's go ahead and riz on this elevator. Let's riz. Hi everyone, day one of me being a free labor prisoner. Um, I'm a little bit worried, honestly, about if my bob will stay together for all this, but the new Mio hairspray has Whenever a loose yet me, stiff I'll hold. So make sure to use a Mio spray for 1% off of the delivery fee of the new Mio hairspray. Thank you all so much, bye. Oh, by the way, I did find an outlet in my dorm. Thank you. Noelle's Bob's gonna crumble. No, she's a meal girl. It won't happen. This is gonna be one of her biggest challenges, but she'll definitely get this done. Hi, Grain. How are you today? Yes, I'm new. I'm, I'm on the clock. Yeah, what do you need me to do? Are you training me? Ah, you must be the catch of the day. Looks like you've got some luck getting assigned this space. Yep, we just arrived yesterday and... Don't interrupt me when I'm speaking. Ooh, Paimon, you're going to have a really hard time fitting in here. Yes, sir. Listen carefully to my instructions. I don't want any mishaps. Every machine here is worth more than the both of you. Working around these machines can be very dangerous. Do your job well, and you can eat in the cafeteria after your shift. 
get sloppy, and you dine in the infirmary. Anyway, the Fortress of Merope doesn't want to lose a single one of its machines. And it also doesn't want to waste the production potential of any inmate. You got that? Got it! Your job is to use the machine over there to process widgets. Watch carefully, and make sure you step on the pedal at the right time. If the machine gets jammed, then give it a little maintenance with your fist. Here, take this. Bring me the process widgets, and I'll give you some credit coupons in exchange. So I get to do little mini games to get credit coupons. Girl, I'm going to thrive in prison. For the modeling process, you must place the unprocessed part into the machine and then interact with the machine to start the challenge. When some parts get stuck while rotating, you will need to attack the rotating part to restore the machine's function. When the part's base glows, jump to complete. Okay. What am I waiting on? Oh, that. Okay. Come on, I get it. Jail roleplay. <laughs> I comment. This is jail roleplay. <laughs> This one is tolerable. Though, since the processing is done by machine, the product is all pretty much the same anyway. We are talking about role playing in Tavat's prison system. All right, I'll pass you for now. And we'll count up how many credit coupons you've earned. <sighs> I'm on exhausted. We're done now, right? Oh, that foreman. He's so scary that Paimon couldn't even speak. <laughs> <laughs> Common. <laughs> Even though Paimon's starving and wants to head straight to the coupon cafeteria, we still need to meet Lenny first, right? He probably just finished up his work, too. He should be around here somewhere. I know that this task was really hard for Paimon because she's really small, so she probably had to work really hard to, like, hit the platform. I gotta learn how to get around here, girl. These different levels. That goes up. Okay, this goes up. Mr. Magician? Uh, where are you? Oh, this would better not be some disappearing act. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be around here. Let's try the, it was easy for her because the Duke 2 gives her mass. I forgot about that. Yeah, but she's gonna be making a lot less now that her, like, actually doing work translates to food. Um. Where could he be? <sighs> Did he decide to slack off and sleep? In oh, there's a temporary wayport next to my dorm bed. Okay, I'll look for that. Thank you, Nova. Hey, over here. Hi, Lenny. What's up? <gasps> oh, you scare so easily now. Is there something worrying you these days? My skin texture in this dingy basement, Lenny. How do you, how do you still, how do you still have concealer on, girl? Where'd you get that? Well, you little. The only thing we're worried about was trying to find you. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Come over here and keep it down. How did he still have that concealer on? Oh, Lynette. You two really are inseparable. That's right. My brother simply can't stand to be away from me. Uh, it's not just Lynette. Fremenet is also here. Do you still remember him? Why are y'all in jail? Oh, you mean that diver from the House of the Hearth, right? Pyro remembers seeing him in the Court of Fontaine before. Now hurry up and tell us, how did you end up as criminals this time? We fought so hard at court to prove you were innocent, but now it looks like our incredible court <laughs> Okay, Pickles. Have fun. <laughs> Sadly, even the teeniest of things can land you in prison these days. I put together a street performance and used the popularity we gained from the Opera House incident to attract a big crowd. 
from the upper house incident to badge the I'm not making fun of you, Lenny. I just think that your voice is so sweet. And then? Next, I invited several audience members to participate in the show. And then, with the entire audience watching, their wallet suddenly disappeared. I mean, that's magic, right, Lenny? That's so magic. Was charged with theft, and I was charged as his accomplice. Hi, Ellie. Hi, time. Berna. It really isn't that bad. The missing wallets are all in the leftmost drawer of the Maison Guardianage's big filing cabinet. We just need to see how long it takes to discover them. The Maison Guardi Guardianage. Okay. Yep. We should be in terms of the magic trick itself. I think the performance went perfectly. <sighs> Leave it to Lenny to magic himself into prison. The question is, what are you two doing really here? Indeed. Last time I hid my identity from you, I promised that I'd tell you absolutely everything if you were angry about it. No more secrets. So I don't plan on keeping anything from you this time either. At the moment, the House of the Hearth's interests don't conflict with yours at all. We were instructed by the father of our house, the Knave, to come here and conduct an investigation. So, everybody, all different, uh, all different f affiliations, Mio, Emelo, Mello. Why are we all being sent here? Why are our bosses sending us here? Because, I mean, at the end of the day, we can identify I'm a Mio girl, you're an Emelo boy. As much as we wanted you to be a Mio boy, I, okay, whatever. We're not going to talk about that. But at the end of the day... Our boss has sent us here, so what's going on? <gasps> Told you so. See? As for what we're investigating, perhaps you haven't heard, but the fortress of Meropede hides a secret. I didn't. What's the secret? Some even say that the entire fortress exists just to protect it. The House of the Hearth has been investigating this for a very long time, trying to uncover its mysteries. But recently, all of our informants, including the ones that had infiltrated the guards, suddenly vanished and have not been heard from since no lenny i already know that nouvellet and Riz Riesley are dating is it that serious wait is one of them we believe that this is a direct provocation and it's the reason why we came here but why are you guys so interested in their relationship like what's going on is, is the is your father like oh uh... It's like a love triangle, I see. Father has somehow managed to confirm that Fossilors does not have Fontaine's Gnosis. Huh? How did she manage to learn information that important? Father has her ways. Many of them are beyond our imagination, and we've never had the chance to see her at work. But we trust her conclusions. It's coming together. It was this information that led us to suspect that Fontaine's Gnosis might be in the fortress of Meripede and is related to that secret. Is it possible that a little special looking sea queen might be the Gnosis? Because I've seen some of the mellow things, those little dogs that you guys have running around, those blue dogs. I haven't seen them running around, but I met one that looked a little bit like Nouvellet and Riesley, you get what I'm saying? Is it possible that they sort of... I don't know how that works. I'm just an ally. That's I don't know. I don't know how that, all that works. So it's all about the Gnosis again. Well, that's about it from our side. How about you two? Did Monsieur Nervulet send you here? Bingo! The name has been applying a lot of pressure. She wants to know what happened to Child, so we came here to investigate. Uh, Traveler, are we allowed to tell them? No, Paimon, you've already said everything, though. <laughs> you don't need to worry too much about it. Are there that. any spoilers, Comet? She's just asking for a report on Master Child's predicament as a means of pressuring you. Father used this situation as a pretext to negotiate with two high-ranking officials in the court of Fontaine. She actually just wants to be able to make concessions on this matter for gains elsewhere. Almost like a bargaining chip. Father used the situation as a pretext to negotiate with two high-ranking officials in the court of Fontaine. She actually wants... She actually just wants to be able to make concessions on this matter for gains elsewhere. Oh, so she doesn't even care about the notes. She just wants to know where it's at so she can... Okay, Sometimes I got it. Sometimes you need an excuse to do things you otherwise couldn't. And a harbinger is more valuable than you might imagine. Of course, it's not a complete farce. 
If we do manage to find out what happened to Master Child too, then diplomatic relations with Fontaine could improve, and Snezhnaya might even be able to adjust its stance a bit. Is it just Paimon, or does it feel like we're the only ones who actually care about Child's situation? The relationship oh. between the Harbingers must be as bad as ever. I, Paimon, I'll be honest, I'm so nosy that I didn't even care about Child anymore. I forgot that we came down here for Child. Because now I'm on the secret. What's the this, what's this secret that everybody's sitting on, right? I wouldn't go that far. Father just has different standards than we do when it comes to what can be sacrificed for an advantage. Uh, by the way, I have a suggestion. Why don't we team up? Lenny, the last time we teamed up, you lied to me very, very badly, and I got embarrassed in front of an entire town of people I've never met. Even though we have different objectives, we're both here to investigate the fortress of Meripede. It would be more efficient for us to work together. <sighs> this is so interesting. As a meal girl, I find myself really working alongside MLO for a lot. Do that, Lenny, do you even know that like when, when I finally get this stuff done, your people are going to be out of here, like no business at all. You either going to have to join the meal girls or meal boys. I, we're kind of honestly trying to think of an, just Mio because we are, um, you know, non-binary inclusive. I, I, but you know, like working with me is not going to help you. As you know, the House of the Hearth has many reasons to seek the Gnosis, but our highest priority remains resolving the prophesized crisis. You can trust us on that. If your highest priori priority is helping us, okay. The House of the Hearth is an interesting MLO boutique. I, you guys, I really don't know what your mission statement is, what your motivations are, how you guys make money, but okay. I have to refuse. See, I told you. <laughs> so much for yes and. <laughs> is that so? Hmm. Sure enough, it won't be easy to convince them to cooperate with us. Lenny seems to be thinking pretty hard about something. Of course he is. Lenny has been looking forward to a chance to it's reach an MLM. Um, since last we met. Or I should say I'll watch that trailer we comment. Really is it on the page? To teaming up with you this time. Lynette, just tell them everything, why don't you? It's okay to open up a little. But I may reconsider if things get serious. <laughs> Very okay. prudent of you, and consistent with your behavior since we first met. That's reasonable enough, and I agreed to cooperate on these terms as well. I was prepared for the worst, but you were actually more agreeable than I anticipated. <laughs> All right, then. There's no time to lose. I have some information to share, so listen carefully. Since Lynette and I arrived here, our investigation uncovered the fact that the Fortress of Meripede has a forbidden zone. That's where Nouvellet and Riesli go. Yeah. Most people just clammed up and wouldn't talk, but after asking the right questions, we were able to confirm the existence of the Forbidden Zone from the guards. Oh. You should be aware of that while you're investigating. <laughs> so you're telling me that these two grown men have to go hide away, but they're big bosses here in Fontaine. He's the boss of the prison, and Nouvellet's the boss of the court. They don't have to hide. I keep saying this. Fontaine is so weird. You guys do all this, these little trysts. These little secret trysts. I, I, uh, be who you are. It's almost Pride Month, guys. A forbidden zone? Oh, could that be where the child disappeared to? You're right. We'll definitely keep that in mind. Good. That's the most suspicious thing about the fortress that we know of so far. We have a few other unanswered questions, and we'll be investigating those as quickly They live for the drama of it all? Oh, it's the rush. Anyway, I get it. I hope Choice of on wrote about that. useful at least. Look at the time. You two must be hungry. You should go to the coupon cafeteria and get something to eat. I'll oh, use Child caught them. Because you know Child's so messy. He probably doesn't even care. I think it's a big misunderstanding, Lenny. Y'all know that I'm down here for Child, but I think it's a big misunderstanding. I think he saw them kissing in the Forbidden Zone. I think they got like, you know. You can't tell everybody that the prison and the court have like a sort of, you know, conflicting interests. <sighs> Okay, let's check out that trailer. I trust you comment if there's no spoilers because you've literally since like Sumeru been like guiding us. Um, so I trust you. But let's hang out right here. This is a really aesthetic spot. And to be actually, this is a more aesthetic spot. Okay. Let's. 
You said it was on the page. Is it just like labeled 4.7? 4.7, an everlasting dream. It, that's events overview. I see the animated short. Oh, 4.7 trailer. Okay. This is going to show Sea Queen, though. So if it doesn't slay, I don't know. If it doesn't slay. Let's check it out. It does, don't worry. Okay. Y'all know me. I wanted to slay. Paimon, would you join us and play Mar Shosei Hunter Judgment Day? This script was adapted from the real history of the Maro Shosei Hunters. You all will play the role of hunters from a bygone era and resolve a series of events unfolding in the capital. It's the theater of it all. Oh, Chlorine's finally going to be pullable, right? The I've adopted from the Maro Shosei Hunter tradition. They fought against monsters, while I fight against lawbreakers. For when I draw my blade, I am but an instrument of Fontaine's law. Okay, Chlorine. She's pretty. She's really pretty. Time to testify. She's pretty and chic and like understated. Mace, time to testify. To <laughs> That's a little bit scary. Did prince. she say time to testify? <laughs> Loaded. Loaded. Time to testify. Time to testify. Wait, I want to hear her voices now. The details with her come from the voices. Let's let's listen to the lines. Many of my habits are customs I've adopted from the Mara Shosei hunter tradition. They fought against monsters, while I fight against lawbreakers. For when I draw my blade, I am but an instrument of Fontaine's law. For when I draw my blade, I am but an instrument of Fontaine's law. Okay, Chlorine. Loaded. Loaded. to testify. <laughs> Madam Mage says that every page of a storybook okay. is a segment of the present. That's so fast. Loaded. There must be Who's that? Story Who's this. that? Who's that? Y'all didn't tell me about this person. No, 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 no. So y'all want to talk about leaks, 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 sending me DMs. Y'all send me DMs after DMs. I'm not talking about people in chat. I'm talking about like strangers. Y'all send me DMs after DMs after DMs after DMs. Look at Seaween. React to this. This is what I'm talking about. Who is this? So, Alex. A brown boy? I mean, he's Genshin Brown, which he's like, he's literally like more brown than I am, but he's still a lighter skin tone. How do they, how do they even pull, how do they manage to make someone who has a deeper brown skin tone than I do, but he's still lighter than me? Hi, Tropixel. He kind of looks like me. Wait. Yep. Twins, they put me in the game. Explore this place with you to the end. Let's never stop hoping for victory. Where you heading? Okay, miss. Miss, Miss Slide. Miss Bo, Miss Slide. Bemo. Here she comes. So much more dangerous in there than I ever imagined. The amount of money she's about to make well, for this hurt. company. Oh my god, Dr. Mario if it's slayed. Oh! Don't be nervous. Just oh my relax. God. A strange <gasps> disease. One I suspect that every Fontanians. Oh my god. Wait, that's CMB. No wait. CMB they put me in the game and then they put you in the game. Story that's me. Play. That's me when I wear my green contacts. Place with you to the end. Let's never stop hoping for victory. And then after, it's gonna be Wait. you. <laughs> Move or be moved. The the heart bubbles. Okay, I want. Let's watch it again. Just so much more dangerous in 
the heart bubbles with a giant syringe full of pastel vaporwave juice. This is me. Trap them into a bubble and destroy them. She looks exactly like you. <laughs> she looks exactly like you. But they don't trust me at all. Do you really think it matters whether I'm Melazine or a human? I don't believe Master would suddenly disappear for no reason. There must have been something she just had to do. In the new world, they bade farewell to the Shrouded Sun. At last, they no longer needed to dwell on their suffering. Or try to differentiate between various thoughts of blasphemy, such was the price. This is all Dane's Leaf stuff that just doesn't make sense to me. I, I bet the next time I talk to Dane's Leaf, he's going to be like, So I just figured out that the Hilly Churls are actually your mom. All of them are actually your mom. And this whole time, you've been farming your mom for her masks so you can upgrade your stupid little anime girls. And then the next one, Dane's Leaf is going to be like, I'm actually your mom, and I'm actually the Hilly Churls. <laughs> the way he's holding his sword, he must be a real Mara Chosei hunter. You used it yourself, didn't you? That's why you have a human appearance. See, I'm caught up. That's quite oh. the gamble. Whose loop was on was that? I am the one no, I know that y'all are like looking at like all the lore bits and stuff, but whose loop was on was that? That's why you have a Who's human pump? appearance. Who's pump? That's Chlorine's pump. That's yours. It's Comet's pump. Miss Girl. Oh, it's Miss Girl. Quite the <laughs> But I don't think I am the one walking into a trap. One day, I shall have my vengeance. Huh? Valley. Captain Dainsleff could accomplish his own goal. The loom of fate has already been completed. <laughs> Who's that? Traveler, let me ask oh, it's you me. this. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? I got goosebumps. I got goosebumps. An everlasting dream intertwined? What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> Am I pulling for you or me? CMB, okay, this is the fun thing though. I can pull for you and still be able to get me because I'm a four star in the game, you're a five star in the game. So I'll be able to pull for both. The overlay with the characters moving around. The overlay I made myself, the characters are a program called Stream Avatars that you can get on Steam. It can be quite intensive on the PC, but a lot of the chatters really love it. I think it's really cute. It's a really great way to express other games that you're interested in as well. Like, I like Pokemon and all kinds of stuff and things like that. Okay, let's keep playing. Um, so I heard that y'all had a secret, so I'm gonna go check it out. You meet me. I'll be there. Where's child? Hello? I'm kidding. <laughs> I won't make that bit go on forever. <laughs> I should watch the animated short too. I'm scared to do that one because I think Pika asked me, I don't know, Pika, um, somebody left a link. I think their name was Pika. They asked me, but I'm scared about spoilers. They can take a lot away from me, but they can't take away my custom meal gown and my custom meal wings. <laughs> Paimon, we both are drawing separately, and I got on Wuwa this game that I played yesterday that's just like this game, except it doesn't have you in it. Uh, <laughs> that was mean. That was mean-spirited, but I meant it. Um, I got a bunch of stuff, so I'm, su I'm sure I'll pull a good uh, lunchbox soon. Yeah, forget about it then. We'll just deal with the regular food for the time being. Let's just get out of here as soon as possible. But <laughs> life here doesn't seem all that bad. Other than the foreman being kind of mean and the work being pretty tiring. You think so, mate? 
<laughs> if I had a coupon for every fish who said that. Here we go. The obligatory NPC of every act that is some obscure actor who's about to gag me completely. I can tell. Whoever got hired for Vid Vidoc, he's about he's about to go in. He's about to go in, right? I'm, I'm open to it. He might flop, but I'm open to it. Because this is my favorite part of Genshin is that one NPC that has the big voice acting role of every act. Seems you fishies still haven't learned your lessons from your life up on the surface. <laughs> Hey, girly. Okay. What's she gonna say? Let's read. If you take things at face value, then by the time you reach a dead end, you won't even know how you ended up on that road in the first place. Have some advice for us then, old timer. Oop. Sorry, you guys don't have retinal down here, do you? <laughs> I like your attitude. I can, uh, let you in on a little something. I already know that Reese Lee and Uvala are kissing in the Forbidden Zone. Tell me something new. Everyone's been telling you to just follow the rules and not cause any trouble for yourself. Am I right? Yeah. But what they don't tell you is that the rules aren't exactly what they pretend to be. The rules for being a prisoner. Okay, but that's the part that I'm playing. Are you telling me that I can have a new set of rules? The truth is, this place has a lot of hidden rules. And hidden zones for hidden men to do hidden kisses. We call that a tryst where I'm from. Huh? Hidden rules? What do you mean? Not everyone knows about those rules, but whether you know them or not, once you break one, you might encounter something even worse than death. Well, what is it, Vidoc? Who are you? Really? What is it? Of course. And I'd say that just disappearing would be one of the better outcomes. Who is this? Oh, you mean that if there really are hidden rules, then child's disappearance might have something to do with that? Uh, in that case, would you tell us some hidden rules? We definitely want to avoid breaking them. <laughs> Come on, mate. This is valuable information. The difference between life and death. Do you really think you can just ask and I would tell you? I'm the legendary blonde. I know you've been locked up down here underwater, under the ground, in this dingy, dingy dungeon basement for a long time. But up on the surface, if you can help me to get out of here, I can probably help you to get out of here. I see some potential there, but the years and years and years of sitting in this nasty sewage water has made your hair the color of a swamp. Your mustache is a miracle that is even still intact and in shape. I will give you that. And the brows laid right so i can tell that you do put a lot of effort into cosmetology and that kind of thing there's a big role in the sales department for you at meal brands it's a completely brand new brand that's been out for maybe like a year or so so i mean this can be transactional what's up what's up paimon understands but we don't have many credit coupons yet yeah yeah i know not like i'm going anywhere just come talk to me after you've saved enough Moreover, your new fish, freshly caught and completely out of your element. Oh, he smuggles meal products. It makes sense. I'm telling you anything before you've gotten a handle on your new lives. Come and find me once you've been here longer. Vidoc, I. Uh, let's just say this the next time we meet, I'm going to need the uh, meal snail mucin immediately. I just ran out today. It's good to know that we have a meal connection down here. I'm usually around the rag and bone shop. Just call me V-Doc. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye, girly. So, Paimon, you heard that correct. We you still have a... Just like that. Huh. Do you think he's just trying to scare us into buying fake information from him? I don't care about the information anymore, girl. We got free food, free room and board. Reese's just next door. I mean... And now we got meal products. I'm interested. Yeah. It might be a good place to start in our investigation. Hidden roof, but like he said, we don't have any coupons and we're still not familiar with this place. Oh, there's nothing we can do about it now. <laughs> the rag and bone shop. The rag and bone shop. We were so busy talking, we almost forgot to eat. 
Even if it's not the best, it's probably better while it's warm. Come on, dig in before it's Same, cool. Paimon, same. No, I, as much as I, I rag on Paimon because I'm projecting. I'm projecting my insecurities onto Paimon because if I was in this universe, I would probably be a Paimon. Like, let's be real. I would just be the loud thing that loves to eat and makes this really stupid joke. And, like, that would just be me. <laughs> that would just be me. <laughs> Maybe not the Duke Duke. Maybe not all the Duke Duke. Maybe not all that. But, I mean, you never know. You never know with me. Fawn Paimon skin collab win. If I ever, if I, if this, if this little social media project ever blows up to the point where I'm considered an actual Genshin Impact creator and I get invited to like a Genshin Impact event, you better believe that I will be doing, I will be putting all of my money, all the money that I make that month into a sickening full on Paimon drag. I will attend every, if I become a Genshin Impact creator, like the, a Genshin Impact creator, you know, that Hoyoverse money? If I get that, I'll be putting it all into doing full-on drag looks for Paimon. Paimon, who, who are the other ones? I'm gonna do an amber drag look, like <laughs> a Nahida drag look. I'm gonna draw my eyes to be super big and green. <laughs> but it, the first one will have to be Paimon. That's how I'm gonna get on RuPaul's Drag Race, is doing all Genshin Impact inspired looks. Watch me win with that Sea Queen look, right? <laughs> so Paimon just confirmed with the guards that our shift is set for every morning and we're free to do whatever we want all afternoon. But it seems like most of the other They have a Paimon mascot costume. continue working through the afternoon to earn more credit coupons. Oh, and they also said that you can use coupons to skip work in the morning and free up your time. They weren't kidding. Credit is this like a whole really game system? I'm interested. <laughs> so tired and we'll need to wake up and go to work in the morning without any credit coupons it's not like we can really do anything else oh my goodness real life simulator i don't have any money to spend and i have to go to work tomorrow mm -hmm. nighty night traveler Pop good night <laughs> <laughs> I hear someone calling me. Is child reaching out to me in the astral plane via, via a psychic projection? What is he doing in this arena? Who are these women with these busted bobs? Child, is that you calling out to me? A telekinetic projection. I, I feel someone's calling to me. <gasps> How obscure and esoteric. Are you awake, traveler? When I woke up, I was a redheaded twink. <laughs> I couldn't, I can't What's let it on? pass. I can't let the jokes you pass. I'm sorry, guys. When I woke up last night? last night, I dreamed, I dreamed, I dreamed of prison. And when I woke up, I was a redheaded twink. Is <laughs> that even possible? Unless it wasn't an ordinary dream? <laughs> I Whoa, see everything. <gasps> so you had it with you this whole time? How did I end up having child's vision? Maybe the vision connected child's consciousness to yours. Maybe I can use his vision. And our investigation has its first major breakthrough. Good thing you brought the vision with you here. So my first major breakthrough was me having a dream. Oh, when I ran into him before he gave, I remember that. Okay, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember, yeah. So what did you see? He was like, girl, I don't need it. I'm going to use my dark magic. And I said, don't do that, child. It's going to make it. It's going to make it. It's going to. And then he was like, I don't care. The dream was a little hazy. Huh. Okay. 
Well, hopefully it'll be a bit more helpful in the future. <laughs> Paimon said, so tell me what happened. And I was like, I don't know. And she said, okay, well, maybe this will help us later. <laughs> What's more important now is that it's the start of another new day as prisoners. Let's do our best to earn more credit coupons. I'm starting to realize that maybe, just maybe, Paimon and the Traveler might have just gotten through this far in Genshin Impact and all of Tavat by the help of other people because it seems as though we can't really get anything done when we're just by ourselves left to our own devices because we can't get in contact with anybody we're down here by ourselves like and I like had a dream and I have this vision with me but I'm like I don't know and Paimon's like I don't know either I guess we're gonna go back to work <laughs> I guess we're gonna go to work huh? Let's go! It's time to start working. If that guard fielding catches us skulking about, he's sure to give us an earful. <laughs> Traveler and Paimon locking at the worst times. At least they, they eventually do. Look who decided to show up. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's a wasted. I'm already on it, sir. Good, here you go. Remember to give me the widget once you've finished processing it. Yay! I actually kind of low-key like this little mini-game. <laughs> I kind of like this. I feel like I would have fun doing this if, if this was like an actual job. My real samsara work. just okay Paimon and Traveler are just a world tour are on a world tour to find places to eat and market the meal brand at this point I think it is I found my true calling prison <laughs> now y'all know me I opened my small business last year let's just say I hope I paid all my taxes I think I did I think I did I think I did but if we do end up in prison at least you guys know I'll be happy <laughs> No, if I'm in prison, y'all, please break me out. Um, this random notification I just got in the middle of the stream. Yay! Thank you! Two months streak, thank you. And thank you for five months. Hey there, fellow shift mates. I saw you finished your work, so I thought I'd come over and say hi. I did not. I paid my taxes, thick. <laughs> oh, hey there. I've seen you before. Your assigned workspace is really close, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. The name's Rowan. This past few days, I couldn't help but notice the new faces working nearby. I guess we were Oh, I don't have to pay them. Okay, I won't do that next year, Ted. Thank you. I've been working here for almost 15 years. Even the foreman, Grainville, always calls me chief. Whoa, you've been working here a long time, chief. Hi, chief. <laughs> if there's anything you'd like to know, just ask me. I know the work here in the production zone better than the back of my hand. Okay. Alright, Chief. We'll be sure to come to you first. Did you just ask about the rules? Yeah, Chief. The rules. <laughs> Pretty sharp for newcomers. You've already heard about the rules, huh? Who'd you hear it from? The hidden rules. That's what they're called, right? Hmm. Alright. I like Seems I like, like Fontaine. It's messy. Here, you're already calling me Chief. I guess I can tell you a little. Truth is, you two keep working like this, you might be putting yourselves in danger. Huh? Wait, there's even a rule about that? What would have happened if you never told us about this? Well, it's usually not that easy to break one on accident. The conditions of the hidden rules are usually pretty specific. But once you do break one, bad things happen. So the conditions in this case are... If you work continuously in the production zone for three days, and if all you do besides eating and sleeping is just work, then something bad will happen during lunch on the third day. Huh? Like what? Oh, don't scare Paimon! I saw some stuff, Christian. <laughs> if I knew that, then I wouldn't be standing here talking to you, now would I? You mean, 
Even you have never tried working three days like that before? <laughs> Teb, when you see the clips, actually the VOD is up on Twitch if you want to see it, but I will be putting together a longer video for YouTube as well as some clips for TikTok. Let's just say that while Wuwa was woo wowing us in many ways, um, woo wonderful in many ways, woo we, we were having a great time and some of the woo men Let's just say we were just kicking and giggling like a bunch of teenage girls. Well, I guess we don't even have to say teenage girls here. We were kicking and giggling like the group of um, messy girly pops that we are. <laughs> There's actually a legend about this rule. They say that there was a worker who worked way harder than me. He was both efficient and eager on the job. And most other workers couldn't hold a candle to him. <laughs> you guys better stop. <laughs> One time, he tried to test his limits and worked as long as he could. Then during lunch on the third day, he disappeared into thin air, as if he'd evaporated. Later, some people went and asked some of his past friends about him, but they said, never heard of the guy. So they just disappear. How could that happen? Did you ever see him, girl? Unfortunately, we were assigned different production zones. I never saw for myself what he looked like. <laughs> You're good, Joseph. <laughs> Wait. Are you thinking that it was... Thank you for this information. I'm gonna definitely consider this. If, 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 we'll give it a try. Huh? Oh? You... Uh, listen, kid. This ain't the kind of thing you should be curious about. Let me tell you, you're better off forgetting about it and looking after yourself. Now I kind of regret ever telling you. Rowan, you're going to have to learn something about me if we're going to be sitting here while being co-workers. I'm the type of girl that likes to live on the edge. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a model. And models always have to find the next gig. I will be going to places uncharted because there might be opportunities for me there. Yeah, I agree with Chief here. Do you really it sounds like a good try? lead to me, Paimon. For once, I'm going to need you to be quiet and follow my lead. I know exactly how to get to the secret zone, the hidden zone, the hidden rules, the hidden rules, the hidden rules are the tool to get me through. What is this garbage? Ooh, it looks disgusting. Oh, Paima misses your cooking now. Now? What would you like to do this afternoon? Let's go to work. Um. But Paima Hopes the foreman will be in a better mood today. Right now, Berna. Now, okay. So when we get out of here, I won't be cooking anymore. Look who decided to show up. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's a wasted. Let's Good. go. Here you go. I love working on my third day in a row, Grain. <laughs> Look at me. I'm working three days in a row perfectly. Let me have a look. Hmm. Seems we had a protect. They love me. They're gonna love me so much that they're gonna take me away to a secret place. Hmm. Maybe we can make some progress in our. What do you have planned for us? Let's see. Complete the following objectives during your time in the Fortress of Mirapi to advance the story. Complete the quest stage. While working in the morning shift, apply for continuous working shifts with Greenfield. Okay. Right. We just... This is an interesting little me game mechanic. <laughs> I do appreciate that as time goes on, well, it makes me really excited for Natlan, honestly, Get because as time goes on, Time's a waste. I'm noticing that they're trying to gamify the narrative a little bit more because Genshin does do, it's basically a visual novel and like half of it's a visual novel, but there's so much story to tell that I think sprinkling in like game mechanics does work. Some of them work, some of them don't, but this one I think kind of works, I guess because it's like very easy to understand. Uh oh. What's with suddenly wanting to work? Sure. Let's just say 
really, really want to test our limits. All this work and not a single shower in sight. I'm worried, Fawn. Uh-oh. Yeah, the new traversal looks really fun for Christian. They love it. They love it, and I love it. I'm getting rich, and I'm, and eventually they're gonna take me to a secret place. Ooh, had it. I'm scared about the oh, absolute lack of sun. That's it. <laughs> doesn't even have the energy. I mean, look at the effects of it. <clears throat> Is it time to eat yet? Hi Pixie, how are you? Oh Paimon, it's, don't don't worry Paimon. She's getting sad because she's her Duke Duke surplus is starting to dwindle. Oh, Paimon's exhausted. It's just work. <gasps> Wait a sec. Now that Paimon thinks about it, haven't we been working nonstop for three days now? And now it's lunchtime. Yep, today's the day, Paimon. Oh, Paimon feels a shiver going down her spine. What's you're exhausted, happen? but you'll live. Well, I'm happy to hear that. Glad that you're here, Pixie. But it doesn't seem like anything's changed at all. And we made it to the coupon cafeteria safely. Are the so-called hidden rules only a rumor after all? That would be a big disappointment, Paimon. But something tells me that there's something going to happen soon. Something. Something. Well, there's no use to just guessing all day. Paimon, Paimon said, well, I'm going to eat. If something happens, it'll happen. <laughs> That's kind of real. I'm going to eat. <laughs> Paimon wonders what we'll get today. Maybe we'll get the super lucky meal. Wait, what? Could you imagine how awful it would be? What is this? Well, what in the world is this? What's with Paimon's food? And yours is the same. It's rotted. Before I became a meal girl, no, 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 no. Before I became a meal girl, I was living on welfare. I know what welfare food looks like. This is not welfare food. This is rotted, rotted meat. What do you think is going on? Is this the bad thing that Rowan was talking about? And now our meals have this strange meat. <gasps> no, stop right there. Paimon gets what you mean. Just Paimon. don't say it. Oh, my God. Paimon, have we been eating? Hey. He must have made the food, right? So let's just ask him about the food and be done with it. I'm in love. <laughs> we'll see. We'll hey, see. We'll see. see. Have a moment. Hmm. What is it? I'm about to go report the numbers for today's free meal, so you'd better make it quick. I just had a customer who's a 40-some woman with a coffee t-shirt and a nasty bob. I'm her number one fan now. You got it. Did you tell her? Love the hair. I love to do it. Anytime. I went to one store uh, last week, and like I'm, y'all know me. I always talk about how like shy and reserved I am. This one girl comes out of her car, her Hyundai, full hot pink tracksuit. She looked good. That tracksuit fit her so well, and it looked so good on her. I said, "I'm sorry, you look really good. I know that I'm gonna sound really weird, but you look really good. I'm gonna let you have your day, but you look really good." And then I went on. You gotta tell people when the Bob's nasty. Don't call it a nasty bob. I'm sure you do, Gooey. Uh, it's about the they have to survive video. somehow, Mr. Rogers. Look, does it seem normal to you? Could you imagine having the audacity to ask somebody, the chef in prison, if, if he cooked the food right? The meat? Oh, that. Looks perfectly fine to me. Totally normal. You better hurry up and chow down. Um. What should we do now? Wolsey wouldn't even give us the time of day. <gasps> Is he trying to hide something? Let's bust into the kitchen. If he wants to fight me, I'll yeah. fight him back. Looks like we have no other choice. A normal I void me? Positively famished a minute. What would you like to do? Th Since we have time now, let's focus on investigating. Some more. <laughs> exactly, Pixie. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, Paimon, we are in jail. You gotta play the game, girl. <clears throat> Excuse me, we'll see. Um, what do you... What do you sell here, actually? I don't have any... I thought I had credit coupons. You can buy recipes here? I'm gonna have to come back. Stage objectives. Okay, let's start below. Whoa, how do I go below? Okay. It's Grimace? Oh. I feel like I feel like Grimace meat would be sweet. Oh, he hello. You two are the ones who were with his grace. No need to be sorry. I couldn't help but think of his Oh, Fitzroy's the guy who has a crush on Reesley. Oh, well, it's hard to say. Maybe I am. He's got a very overwhelming presence. It makes me feel like I'm just some insignificant little bug. Wait, seriously? Oh, I'm always indecisive, and I tend to make a mess of things. It's like a reflex. Oh, I get I it. He makes you nervous. What? P please, don't say anything like that out loud. How could you possibly think something like that? Oh, Fitzroy, I'm an ally. Don't worry about it. It's almost June. Okay. Somebody said I need to check out that food that I got. I don't think it's in here. It must be. Oh, is that is that it? That's some, that's something else. That's what Goro gave me. I don't know where the food is. You can open it and it's randomized. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, that's cool. Re randomized food's pretty, pretty neat. Whoa, what's this guy doing here? Who are, what are, what are you doing here? I'm a bodyguard, have you seen my employer? Oh. My Noel's one sneeze away from dying. That's just how I do it. I think. Whatever is here, yeah, let's go up. Let's just keep following this trail. I know that we're over time, but I, I'm gonna keep streaming for a bit more. How have you a dual, dual shield or healer on life support? Girl, welcome to the stream. This is the girly pop version. This is the girly pop meta. You gotta keep Noelle at 150 health because she's that petite. They say, you know, fake it till you make it. You have to emulate the things that you want to see in life. I want a very petite Paris Hilton type of life. Um, so that's how I run my Noel. Yeah, and it, the Bob does keep me alive too. The Bob has, um, the Bob has mystical properties in it. Hi. Huh, Rowan? Uh, what are you doing? Oh, uh. I was injured a bit just now. Nothing major. Huh. Paimon wouldn't have- Shh. I just knew you would say that. This is pretty embarrassing. Oh, you mean she wasn't- Yeah. The rumors say that there's never anybody in the infirmary in the half hour before lunch. And nobody knows where Siegewing gets off to. Siegewing, I know where you are, girl. I know where you are. I know where she is. This isn't a coincidence. I know huh. where she is. That's actually really strange. See- uh, Forget it. I know where she is. We have to follow Siegewing at 30 minutes before lunch. Hi. Oh, wonderful. I was worried that you'd be busy trying to earn credit coupons all the time, but it seems like you haven't neglected your investigation work after all. Oh, Lynette. 
that's the first time I've ever heard a little thing from you. Is it because your brother Lenny is annoying you and you have trouble establishing boundaries? So now you're projecting that problem onto me. I don't understand why I have to carry the bricks loads of bags and weights on my back, on my back with each brick in that bag being like, I can't communicate with my brother. I always want to be silent and pretty, but I never want to stand my ground. I have troubles initiating um, and establishing boundaries. I'm a people pleaser. I don't know why that has to be my issue, Lynette. I've actually been investigating for a minute now and I was getting coupons because as part of the investigation, I have a lead. Paimon likes having more coupons, but no one... Have you also been investigating the area, Lynette? No, I was just slacking off and you happened to catch me. Lynette, <laughs> girl, you got on my nerves right there, but now I get it. I'm sorry, Lynette. I took that the wrong way. I get it. You're funny. That's the first joke I've heard from you, though, girl. Please give me some context and preparations before you hit the punchline next time. My brother is still obsessed with anything remotely related to the Forbidden Zone. <laughs> but she got me. She twisted my mind a little bit. She got me a little... <laughs> oh, before I forget, huh? Credit coupons? Why are you giving us these? I got a little defensive. I'm sorry, guys. I, I know. I've been here longer than you, <laughs> so credit coupons aren't a resource in particularly short supply. What is in short supply are interesting people to talk with. Aw, that's so nice of you, Lynette. We'll be sure to make good <laughs> use of these coupons then. Yeah, my nerves are a little bit... When, once, once, once my split ends start showing and I can't get them trimmed at the local Mio salon, that's when the, the split ends are frayed, so are the nerves. Like, that's kind of how it is. I know, she was just trying to make a little joke. That was all me, guys. I take full accountability for, for that. I got a little hyped up. Something on the ground. Hey, look! There's something here! That suspicious guy peeking into the infirmary, he must have dropped this. The Melisi perceive the world very differently from humans. There are significant deviations. My meal straightener, I left it in the hotel room that that Paimon never lets me go to. My hair has been crazy this whole time. As a result, their sense of aesthetics and beauty is also very different from that of humans. This must be taken into consideration when giving gifts. So the Melusine are girly pops, that's what they're saying. Their sense of aesthetics and beauty is also very different than that from humans. They... <laughs> <laughs> They're girly pops. That's what the Melusine are. <laughs> Whoa. This all I need the Neo hair oil. I do. You homework. And as for the notebook, let's take it. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll catch up. I don't know how I'm supposed to get down there. There must be an elevator down. Because that's the elevator... I think that's the elevator up? No. Yeah, that's the elevator down. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my goodness. Do I have 90-something people watching? Hi, everybody! No wonder my stream avatars is, like, going at 5 frames per second. Hi, everyone! <laughs> I don't know if OBS is just tricking me. You're running pretty smoothly. Spy! Okay, well that's good. As long as it looks good for y'all. I love how ab absurdly long these elevators are. I mean, I get it. And honestly, okay, now that I'm thinking of it, I just thought of this now. Fontaine is a really well-built city, like from a, like a like a 3D modeling game design perspective. Like, I don't know anything about 3D modeling. I'm not an artist in that way. I don't know anything about game design other than like the the things that I've read, you know. But the, the verticality is so extreme, but it's also really fun. Like, I am at the bottom of Fontaine. I know it's technically not Fontaine, but you get what I'm saying. Like, that's kind of cool. Despite being 50% of the population, meal agents and melusines make 90% of Fontaine's girly population. <laughs> Hi, Crunky. <laughs> Do I really, Gooey? Slay! 
Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Girly Pop stream. We love to analyze the girly popology of Genshin Impact by Hoyoverse. Noelle is our queen. Okay. You can actually find the outside of the prison if you swim around the north of the city. Really? Okay. That's cool. I, I just, I, I, I like that. Let me, let me unlock this teleport because Lord knows I'm not going to be able to find my way back down here. Hi. Just getting the teleport. Sorry. Excuse me. I, I just got to pass through. Can I just say that color of hair looks really good on you? I'm not trying to be weird or anything. Yeah. Okay. Bye. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. When someone has a good bob, that's how you clock it. It's really casual. You know. It's that guy again. Hey, it's the Traveler and Paimon. I was in the million dollar meetings. He was uh, cheating. All up in the church. He was sneaking with the deacon. Cats away while the mice still play. LOL smiley face. Have a nice day. Right, Deacon? Y do you know that verse, Deacon? <laughs> no need to tease me, okay? <laughs> I won't trip on the same stuff That's Sasha twice. from Attack on Titan. <laughs> Listen, I feel ashamed about last time. Thank you for praising me in front of his grace. Here are the extra credit coupons he gave me. I'd like you to have them. Thank you, Deacon. Huh? No, we couldn't take them. They're your reward after all. But when I was welcoming you, I didn't do anything but give you the stink eye. Come on, I insist. These coupons are nothing comp- Okay, thank you. LOL smiley face have a nicer day. Cause pop, 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 because my rubber pen. So stop, 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 sniffing that country pen. Cause you was penny pinching my account's late. Oh my goodness, it's my girl. <laughs> Josu, you might be correct. Oh, Rose, that's probably what it is. I was like, why are people giving me so many coupons? It's the it's the meal gown, yeah. Enjoy? Oh, uh, what's there to enjoy here? It's really worth watching. I often stand here and observe everyone. Humans are just so interesting and adorable. I like to watch your expressions while you work. Sea Queen is a freak, but like I really love her as a character, and this is so me. I don't care. I don't care. Call me delusional. I, sea Queen is is me coded. Uh, are you talking about pets or people? Do you also happen to be a veterinarian as well as a head nurse? Oh, I can see why you think that, but you shouldn't jump to conclusions. See, we Melazines are a different species, and we see the world very really cave? differently from humans. It's very easy for me to observe everyone's condition. All it takes is one look, and I can tell... She does have little bunnies on her gloves. Wait, Melazines can see that? Huh, that does sound useful for being a nurse. <sighs> yes, running around tending to everyone's health is very fulfilling. But I'd much prefer it if you're all happy and free from exhaustion and pain in the first place. Seagween, um, her Pokemon team would be a shiny Comfy, shiny Audino. I want one more on that. Um, and like a Blissey. Like that would be her team. Like that's how girly pop Seagween is. Like it's just so easy. Take care of your body. Make sure shiny Corsola, well. there you go. Always See, it just keeps going. From work and, don't push yourself too hard. and that works too because Corsola is like this rock type. But like it's like sort of related to water because of its what it, Pokemon it is. <laughs> take care of ourselves shiny Thanks sylveon oh my goodness yeah seagween is yeah and beware for some reason i can see that i can see that especially with like her sitting and staring at people while they're like doing traumatic free labor um that's very beware coded <laughs> shiny 
shiny Lapras. I can see that too. See, but that's that's what I'm saying. Like, Seagreen is like so obviously girly pop that she can assign any of the icons to her because she just like bleeds right in. See, okay, this is interesting. Someone actually tagged me because Finn. I don't know if Finn's still in here. By the way, Finn, if you're still in here, thank you so much for the raid. And any Finn and any Finn girlies in here, thank y'all so much for hanging out. But Finn posted a video. She was doing the filter that I made, right? And then one of her audience members said, "You know, I have a daughter. I'm like a." It was this guy, and he was like, I have a daughter, and I want to know what girly pop is, but I don't get it. And, like, Seagreen is a good example of what girly pop is, because girly pop isn't, like, girly. I mean, obviously, it's, like, a feminine aesthetic, but it's, like, Seagreen is girly pop, and you can see it because it's just so easy to assign any of those, like, iconic, obvious girly pop Pokemon to her team. It's just, like, a certain, like, vibe and aura. It's more than just pastel, because there's things that are girly pop that are not pastel. You know? One day we're gonna crack the code. People are already starting to use girly pop more. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Seagreen is stalker pop. Oh, a new pop, oh, stalker pop. Stop investigating and go rest? <laughs> yes, exactly, damsel. Not everything that's girly pop is pastel, but most things that are pastel are girly pop. <laughs> okay, you should rest up. We'll be back at it tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't so mean to days straight. <laughs> we got some strange meat in our lunch. What was that all about? I genuinely didn't know that this quest would be like this, but I love that I titled this stream Jail Roleplay. <laughs> Has our investigation turned up anything you saw recently? She would, damsel, and that's probably why I squeal and get so obsessed with her every time I see her, because she would fit in with the Madoka girlies. <laughs> Like, she's so cube coded <laughs> Really? <sighs> and it looks like that part of the I think I, I think I know what's going on here. I don't know exactly what's going on with Child, but I think I know how to get to well, him. Like, we'll in my head as an audience member. Seagreen's Magical Girl Wish would probably be for, like, everyone to never hmm. get exhausted or something. Maybe we can make some progress in our investigation today. What do you we need to choose to go to pink. Okay. I want to spend some money. Oh, there's no point. Okay. After working here, but doing the same thing all the time can get old pretty quickly. How are you holding up? Um. Well. Yeah. I don't really have a choice. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> How am I holding up? Great question. I, I never really stopped to ask myself that. <laughs> Whoa. What is this garbage? Ooh, it looks disgusting. Uh she already said what that. Would you like to do this? We got to go to the, the pink, pink, Maybe pink. Maybe we'll be able to find some leaks. There was a power interruption. Hi, Chia. Um, girl, I don't know what she missed. I really don't know what she missed. I really couldn't tell you. But you're here now. Um, I know it's been a while, but I'm glad you came. And I've been thinking about how you said my name. You got my heart beating like a needle weight. And it feels like got me going insane. And I can't get enough, so let me get it up. Do you guys know that song, Break the Ice by Britney Spears? That is such a good song. Y'all, after stream, no. After stream, I'm making y'all listen to Break the Ice by Britney Spears. <laughs> You got me going insane. <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> I'm going insane. <laughs> Paimon and Traveler are two most wanted. Oh, <laughs> that makes me want to cry. They are the two most wanted. Y'all know me. I get a little bit sappy with Paimon sometimes. Me <laughs> when I see new villettes. Got me going insane. <laughs> Oh, you must be the traveler, huh? Sorry, mate, but uh, over a slice of cake, no less. You are prohibited from participating. I don't make the rules. Hi, mate, Johnny. I was given very specific instructions. Even convicts value their lives, don't they? 
I hope you can understand. <laughs> but we have a game here that'll let you show off your strength, and you'll even earn some credit Hi, in the process. What do you think? Interested? Sorry, textbook said that they finally got good internet, so I had to make sure that textbook could see me in high quality. And if we lose the game, will it cost us credit coupons? Of course. That's the cruel reality facing every competitor in a place like the Pancration Ring. Let's do it. Okay, great. The targets in front of you will pop up one after another. Whack-a-mole. You'll need to hit the targets in the same order that they popped up. If you can oh, this is Simon Says. With no the second you mess up the order... You lose. Game I over. like being in prison in this in this world because you just do little mini games and then you get coupons and then like you get like a blind box every day for lunch. The game costs Other than that one time we got purple meat. Go. So, you up for it? Thanks for your patronage, mate. Like this is my job is playing whack-a-mole. The targets will come up in order. I have to, okay. Successfully follow the order times four times will complete the challenge. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh. I think I did it wrong. That one, that one, that one, that one. Oh, I didn't see it. Uh oh. I need to start this over. That I need to start that over. I was doing that all wrong. Okay, In order. Okay. I think I need to do Goro with this. Okay, I got it. That one, that one. Uh-oh, I didn't see the order. I did it wrong. I did it! That was a little embarrassing. Your strength really shouldn't be underestimated. <laughs> Now I get why you're prohibited from participating in any official fights. Nobody who values their life would be willing to get in the ring with you. You flatter me, Collins. However, you two haven't tried betting on the outcome of a Pancration match yet. Just go talk to Rusimov. Buy a ticket for whichever fighter you think. But... That's normal. Just watch a few matches and get a feel for the fighters. He's got a point. Why don't we give it a try? If we have enough coupons... <laughs> I want to do that. Huh? Uh, right, Sykes. Oh, like, this is a great but, place. Uh, it's not like you can't do that, but I'd advise you to give it some more thought first. Huh? We shouldn't get too carried away. What's the problem? Could it be that this is a hidden rule? What? I never even picked a boxer before, and you already know about the rules? You're not just strong fighters. Seems you're pretty perceptive, too. The hidden rules. That's what they're called, right? Uh, might as well tell you about it, since you already know that much. Plus, I think you've got the- <laughs> There's Gasha everywhere, like even in prison. Customers. I think I can let you in a bit. Besides, I don't want to risk ever losing a customer like you. Uh, is it- Okay. The hidden rule here is, if you buy both boxers' tickets and support them both, mm -hmm. something bad will happen the next morning. Well, then let me do that. So the rule is that we shouldn't pick both boxers in the same fight. But if anyone actually Pull did 1, that, wouldn't they be guaranteed <laughs> to lose coupons? Who would, and what do you mean by... How would I know? Not like I'm stupid, but I've heard a story about the rule. I think what's going to happen is I have to keep doing every single hidden rule 
like going against it and that's gonna let me into the forbidden zone i feel like the trick is to keep people i feel like what's happening here is this prison is playing on some sort of commentary on like how like hive mind and like group thing can often make you not do things because if you see other people doing things you naturally have like a biological response of okay if everyone else is not doing that then i shouldn't do that either I think maybe it's sort of making commentary on how that can, without balance, can get a little bit weird. According to the rumor, hmm. there was a masked boxer who possessed incredible skill and power. None of his opponents even... However, in the final match, the organizers told him to take off, and after that, he was never seen again. Some say he died, or that he All was these people got taken, taken to the forbidden zone. ...by the event's organizers. But everyone remembers that he was someone who cherished honor above all else. You missed the girly pop lounge? And yeah. <laughs> Wasn't that those cute? Boxers in a match would dishonor the competition itself. You may cheer? <gasps> vote! Oh my goodness, y'all. Vote was talking about um, auditioning for cheer. Um, vote made it. Everyone say congratulations, vote for Prada. I'm so happy to hear that. So you mean it's like a curse? He'll take vengeance on anyone who does that? No. He was always wearing a mask, like he was intentionally trying to hide his identity. Yay! That that's past. so cool. Traveler, do you think that boxer was... We have to give it a try. Huh? We will. Paimon, we have to try. You're not serious. Look, here I was just trying to be nice and warn you, yet here you are trying to... Yeah, it sounds pretty scary to Paimon. We're going to stop here. Before we do the ticket thing, we'll stop here. That'll be a good way to start for tomorrow, too. Uh, seems you've made up your mind. Just be sure to protect Paimon. Betting on both fighters will set you back about 3,000 credit coupons. I have just enough for that. If you have enough, then go ahead. We're not going to do that just yet. Well, once they let me, I'm going to get out of here. I wonder if I can... Ooh, Wait, I think Comet... Somebody told me last time that I am able to leave this area. Time for bed. You can stop whenever you want, Slay. Okay, cool. I would like to see if I can do more pools. I was hoping that we would have finished the story, but this is obviously Maybe a pretty long one, which I don't mind. The only reason I wanted to finish it was because it gives me Prima Jones. <laughs> um, yeah, we're good to go for the next thing. Let's. After working here so long, we're really starting to get the hang of it. Give me an M, give me an I, give me O. What does that spell? Me O. Guys, I'm scared the yummy button isn't working for me. Like it's saying out of stock IDK how that can be because I need that name card on Twitch to not allow it. So sick and twisted, I can't believe it. How dare points? <laughs> Someone definitely used it. I see. Sometimes I'm not gonna out y'all yet. This has been happening honestly since before. Now, this has been happening since Twitch started, but I'm still not outing it yet because I know it's the technique. It's somebody... People have got some stuff figured out. Yeah, it's good to kick back and What does the yummy button do? It gives you some free points. That's all I got. That's all I can tell you. The yummy is pretty legendary. The yummy's been around since I think I started streaming on TikTok. I got to add a new yummy. I have to... I have, I have to add a new mechanic. I generally want to add new stuff to Twitch. I have to write that down because I keep forgetting. That's my Sunday, Monday. On Sunday, Mondays, that's when I'm like kind of in my office mode. I'm like recording and like doing things. Ooh, it looks disgusting. Oh, Paima misses your cooking now. <laughs> Damn, what so. would you like to do this afternoon? I don't want to do that just yet, but. Sure. If we're not going to work, then let's. I guess we can finish this. I don't mind. I don't have anything to do. I was just. Hmm. Are you two here to buy tickets? Better be quick about it. Another match is about to start. Okay, Ruse. Who are the boxers? I like that. Down? Not to be like um weird, but like honestly, take away the gloves. Or you could keep like a nice, like more classy glove. But this would be a really cute look. Like, if, if you got, like, overalls that kind of worked like the work pant, what are those, what's that cut of pant called? Because that's like a, like, a rancher, like, work pant. The, the type that has the, the extra cloth at the top to attach to a, um, to a, um, 
what's it called? Suspenders? Do you guys know what that's called? Because I've always wanted to get more of those. I have one pair of pants that's like that, but I don't know what it's called. Anyway, this color scheme and this look is honestly really cute. I would wear this whole outfit. We have the reigning champ, Legrop. Look at that, that's cute. Contender from the Eastern Prison Block, Demon Horde. Are those their nicknames or did they choose those names themselves? Either way, super weird. No, they're not overalls because they're like you you can get separate suspenders to attach to them so i was thinking like i could get them in different colors and then also get different colors of suspenders so i can attach to them but they are kind of like overalls a little bit a little uh, bit yeah but you see here, I'll help you out and i wish i could show you i think i have some Even right the here grappler is the crowd favorite demon horde is a first class dark horse with incredible potential i'm li i'll listen to this man talk about his wrestlers whatever you see i have these jeans and i love these jeans but on the back, you see where the belt loop is? Oh, it's blurry. On the Where the belt loop is, it has extra cloth that you can attach. And it goes all the way around. I just like that. I think it's interesting. But I don't know what they're called. Anyway, for this match, I recommend that you pick... We'll buy both tickets. F uh, for both fighters? Uh, I could tell you're new to this, but... I didn't think you were completely clueless. Maybe you don't quite understand the rules, no? Hi, Pity. How have you been? We're about to end soon, but hi. You I'll see. post the bot as soon as I can on Twitch, okay? I'm also going to upload this tonight. Oh, I've been wanting to upload my VODs as soon as I finish, but I always forget. that we're going to lose coupons. All right, then, if you're absolutely sure. Remember, no refunds once you buy the tickets. Yeah, yeah. We got it, just shut. Aw, looks like we won't get a chance to sleep in as long as we're here. Let's get to... Your VOD watcher? Speaking of which... All the VOD watchers have been saying hi back to you guys. So if you guys ever want to say hi to the VOD watchers in the hey, chat, traveler. feel free to. They'll, they like it. Package here for you. The next time you buy something, go pick it up yourself. I'm not a delivery man, you know. Huh? Hi, so. <laughs> for us? Did you buy something, Traveler? Ah, Bybox's not quite awake yet, so why don't you go take a look? I didn't buy anything. All oh, right. Yesterday we broke the hidden rule. Are they going to give us more nasty meat? Oh, They're going to give us more nasty meat. The bad thing that Colin said would happen. Huh? Paimon suddenly feels wide awake. Wait, maybe you let Paimon go hide somewhere first. Just call Paimon <laughs> after you opened it. Paimon thinks it's a bomb, girl. It's not a bomb. Hey, This is okay, Paimon. Huh? What is it? Are you okay? <laughs> Damsel. Damsel says, hi, people watching the VOD. Don't forget to drink water and eat if you haven't. And buy things on Fawn's Throne if you haven't for good luck. Um, What's stopping you? <laughs> you guys playing Wuwa? I heard that if you buy things on my throne, it actually increases your rates on Wuwa. Uh, let me not say that. Let me not say that because I'm kidding. And there's somebody out there who needed that one extra push to spend that extra $500. I was kidding. I was kidding. I was kidding. I won't. That That's not on my spirit. That's not on my karma. That's not on my karma. <laughs> It's just the latest meal PR package. This is the meal soda. Oh, it's just a small <laughs> bottle. But the color of the liquid inside looks so wrong. Almost like... The liquid in the bottle obviously looks like blood, Paimon. All right, that's enough of that. No need to say it out loud. Paimon already knows what you're trying to say. Don't you want to drink this blood, Paimon? Ooh, no way. Get that stuff away from Paimon. Hmm. We'll have to investigate, Paimon. You should investigate by drinking it. Uh, Paimon thinks we shouldn't open the bottle until we figured out what's going on. Just trust Paimon in this one, okay? Red Kool-Aid. What do you have planned? Though it feels nice to slack off a little, less work means less coupons. Let's make the most of our morning. <laughs> Gooey says sucks to be late. <laughs> 
Send it to me, Rachel, please. <laughs> okay, we're gonna stop there. <laughs> Send it to me, Rachel, please. Please send it to me, Rachel, please. Please send it to me, Rachel, please. <laughs> send it to me, Rachel, please. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for hanging out. Thank you. We peaked today at around like 94, 95 viewers. Thank you all so much. Like, I re it's really true. I mean, when when we have a lot of people watching, I don't know what it is because I really don't mess around with Twitch's algorithm. I don't really get into all that. I just believe that if I put up a good stream and we keep the vibes good, then it'll speak for itself. But from what I see, when we have a lot of people watching, Twitch tends to push it to more people and then we get more people watching. So thank y'all so much for hanging out and keeping the vibes cool. Chat was really great today. Really love the vibes today let's see if anybody's streaming we might be able to raid somebody we can raid um let's raid uh, we can raid someone in genshin right maybe let's try is there anyone who needs to be raided also a poet <laughs> that guess will i don't feel like it i don't feel like finding someone to raid i'm sorry i want y'all to listen to this one song that i told you i was gonna make y'all listen to <laughs> we're just gonna do if there's any girly pops ever, and 